Will you let me know when we're actually live? I'll let you know. Could be live any moment. I usually get a notification on YouTube. We're live on both. We're live on both. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. I'm Zach. This is Steven. We're, of course, uh, going to be playing Keyforge because I personally can't get enough. Um, even played me neither. On, even played on Thanksgiving. I can't speak for Steven on that note, but I uh, have probably been playing more than I should. I don't know about that. Well, there was, so my, my mother is historically, uh, and if you're watching, hi, Mom, uh, historically not a huge fan of board games, which may come as a surprise. Um, she likes, like, old-school card games and stuff from, like, the 20s. Um, but her, grand, her mom taught her. Like my Pitch? Grandma. She loves Bridge? Pitch. Pitch is a family game. Um, hey, Gates. Hey, Zach. But, but uh, <laughs> hey. Uh, but she, was, she bought this uh, party game that she really wanted to play, and we didn't end up playing on Thanksgiving. Um, and part of it is because the Dallas Cowboys were playing, and it, they were actually winning. It's basically becoming a Dallas Cowboys organization these days, as much as we talk about it. <laughs> yeah, right? We're going to start a Dallas Cowboy podcast next. No, I'm just kidding. But... Long story, sh kind of, sort of shorter than it could be. Uh, we didn't because Tim and I were actually playing Keyforge. Um, Mom didn't hop in. No, no, That's she she probably would have. I think my dad would have too. That would have been funny. All right. Well, I'm all good. I'm set up on the chat here. So let's talk over. I want to look at these um, Keyforge formats, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little rundown. So I, are you are you keeping up with Keyforge uh, stuff online, like Facebook groups? Um, yes, the the trouble with the Facebook group and even Reddit. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> is that well, and I, I get why they're doing it, but there are a lot of new players, which is amazing. That's what sure. this game's about. Yeah, and they all want to post a picture of their deck and ask the the Facebook group and the Reddit, "What do you think about my deck?" Right. Um, and you know, I think in general, one of the cool parts of of Keyforge is that if deck power level is on a scale of one to ten, and the a, a normal a normal deck is a seven. I think ninety nine percent of decks fall between a six and an eight. Right. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It has <laughs> things that it does. It has combinations of cards that other people don't have. And it's 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 I get it because like you play a couple games, you discover a couple combinations, you're excited about it. And every time you play a game with a deck, I feel like for the first 10, 15 games, it's very easy to continue discovering those interactions. Yeah. So you get really excited. That's it's kind like, of the whole point. Yeah, right? it's like, oh, I went 4 0 with my deck, and it's That's amazing. Why everybody should think? stay off the internet and just quit talking about it. And just go play. Yeah, just go play. Um, but no, I, I follow it. I'm in the group. I see that it comes through my feed, and I check Reddit. Can a large group of people um, exist in a uh, non face to face community without causing each other problems? The answer is no. Is that, <laughs> like that, was not, that wasn't an actual question. Yeah, there's always, you know, well, and then it's, you it's, see people, you know, it's like, ah, these horsemen deck, it's all crazy. How could you pay this much for all these kinds of things going on? And I've seen the same thing with formats where it's like, ah, these formats are awful or the formats are great and then let's fight about it. Um, so rather than do that, we're just going to play through some and I want to kind of talk through uh, a number of formats and, and get some opinions uh, from you. And then also, of course, from all of you watching live, always great to see everybody on uh, YouTube, especially blowing up right now with a lot of a lot of hellos. So hello, a lot of hellos um, on Facebook too. I, I even got a uh, from Justin Allen, the GIF GIF man himself. Uh, but is my deck better than your grandma's cardigan? Still, <laughs> <laughs> yes, That's it a good probably question. is. Um, let's talk through. So basically, there's two main formats. One is you bringing decks, and the other is you're buying a deck or potentially more, and you're playing with them blind. Basically. Sealed. That's called yeah. sealed, and then there's the archon format, which is the constructive format of the game. Even sure. though we don't construct anything, you're in this constructing game. the decks you're bringing. And so here are the number the here, the, here are the official variants, and I think it's been interesting to see a lot of people create their own variants, which I think is a nice thing because you're free to do so, and you always have been in every game, right? That's the crazy thing. But it seems like there's a, a particular interest to do that with Keyforge, even when there's such a rich amount of variants that already exist in the official capacity. So I like I like I haven't even played most of these. We've just been playing games with. We haven't played any, uh, yeah. sealed is like the essentially what we've been playing. So you have adaptive, which is what I want to get into like right now. We should probably just play a game of adaptive. So these are the official formats on the FFT website. Yeah. So an adaptive, we we bring a deck. You and I play each other. Then we swap decks, play each other again, and then if somebody hasn't won two, right? If we've gone one and one, whatever obviously the we the best deck is the one that we both won with. We bid chains to see who gets to play it. 
And it's like, that seems like a pretty good easy balancing mechanism. We, we were kind of discussing this. I came on Saturday to the store. We had paint day. Mm -hmm. um, and with a handful of people painting, that that format, the adaptive format, may be the most balanced format in all of tabletop gaming. You want to play it? Let's just play it right now. You want to play adaptive? Yeah, yeah. Let's just, I'm just going to pick one. I don't know what my... I've got all my, my decks in here. I've well, got the I, Shield Master of Kings, which seems like a good title. All right, I, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is a shout-out to everyone on Facebook who's hopping on the chat. Have you actually been getting good decks and, like, paying attention? So here's, here's my method so far, if you actually are curious to know. Um, I got a display. I've since bought more decks. And I've also played a handful of times where it's like, ah, oh, we both need to buy a deck kind of a thing. But I went through and I picked the ones with the house combinations I liked and I traded the rest. And then I went through those and I actually have them sorted in this box here uh, by my interest level in playing them. <laughs> nice, so yeah. I, I, ha I have my five top ones here. Okay, sleeved. they're all sleeved. Gorgeous. Look and then you. I have with like a popper. Basically, I'm, because I, this is the crazy thing. So I have probably like 20 decks at this point. Mm -hmm. And I simultaneously don't feel the urge to get more decks but just really want to play all of these. And that's where it's like with Constructed and stuff. It's like, I'm, I'm, not, all, I'm not into, like, I need to play 40 games with this deck to get great with it yet. Because there's so many things I actually just want to explore. But I have those there. And then I have a nice little box here. Are those all sealed? These are my sealed, interested in trading them to someone deck. Sweet. They just have houses in them that I'm not Have you, look, you looked at the deck list? Yeah. You checked loosely. them for, like, super rares and stuff? Yeah, and I still haven't, I still have zero, um... What do you call them? Oh, Mavericks. That's that's what's going on. Oh, hey, yeah. Please don't scan my deck. I, I'll cover it up. That would be... Can but yeah, you I don't scan do it from that far? Probably. They can do it with champions. I... Um, now, the thing about your deck being scanned, which was helpful, John and I did this last time, if we say the name of the deck in a scan, they can look up the list on the app. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I should scan them. if you want to scan your, your do decks... Do I have to download the app right now? Yeah. Yeah. So while you're doing that, I'm going to take a poll for which deck I'm going okay, to play. Okay, I'll download it. Um, and mine are all scanned if you want to see the actual list. Um, and I'll leave these two out because these are kind of old. Um, so what's it called? Keyforge? Archon? Keyforge game, Keyforge game is what you should look for. Uh, I have three decks here. Let me see. Are they any different? They better be. House, well, the house pairings. <laughs> By definition, yes, they're they, all different. they are different. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> e, e, I don't know what I meant. Uh, so the three decks I have here, and I'm going to have at least Facebook comments vote. I don't know if you're going to monitor the YouTube one in a minute. Yeah, when I've start got going it. One. So I have Force the mas Mathematician of Screens. This is Brobnar, Untamed, and Shadows. And essentially, the thing that appealed, to, got me into this deck is it has a Khalifi dragon, a giant sloth, Khalifi, is that like the Game of Thrones girl? Khaleesi? Oh, that's Khaleesi, I guess. It's kind of, <laughs> it, the wings are like giant rockets that are. Oh. Nice. Um, and it's got Shadows, Brobner, and Tame, so you know, it's got the whole bait and switch thing going on, some steely stuff, but it's got the Khaleesi dragon and the giant sloth. So that's deck number one. Deck number two is Steph Fear Great from the Sears Condo. Uh, and this <laughs> is, I'm saying the whole name in case we want to look it up. <laughs> Sears and Fear go hand in hand these days. Yeah, Sears Fear. Get it? Uh, anyways. Robnar, Dis, and Shadows. <clears throat> so I'm replacing Untamed with Dis. Um, and it has a Master of Three in it, which apparently is the rarest card in the game. Really? According to the numbers? Well, there's some website, I forget what it's called. Oh, that I've got to sign up in all this, don't I? <laughs> See, user experience, man. Yeah. So the, there's some uh, website that has scanned all the, scan the registered decks and basically determined horsemen are in this many decks and this card in this. So anyways, it's got a master of three. It's also got classic bait and switch, uh, loot the body stuff going on. So uh, last deck is Alphavich, the sweet school duchess. <laughs> and this is logo shadows untamed. And the main thing about this deck is that it's got a bear flute and two ancient bears. That's the, that's the thing. That's where that, your heart is for whatever reason. I wouldn't have, would I have wouldn't, wouldn't have picked, picked you for a, a bear flute guy. Bear flute guy. I, did, I just, there's nothing to indicate that that would have been your jam, but... I mean, you never, you didn't grow up, you know, loving bears and stuff, did you? <laughs> Not necessarily. It wasn't <laughs> my creature of choice. I did like dragons, though, since yeah, I young you age. did. Um, all right, so deck one is, has the dragon in it. Deck two has master of three in it. Actually, let's do deck three as master of three. That would be appropriate. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, and deck two is the two ancient bear deck. So... Uh, I'm gonna. You can just say one, two, or three in the comments on Facebook. Just do it on Facebook, yeah. and uh, I'll Sorry, use that to pick my deck. So one is the Khalifi Dragon, two is the Double Ancient Bear Bear Flute deck, and three is the Master of Three. I'm gonna give that about a minute, then I'm gonna pick my deck, and that's what I'll be playing on stream today. Man, they're making me pick the cars on the Google thing. What? 
I oh, to, the like authentication oh my gosh, thing. Yeah, you're come really on. going through the ringer here. Come on, I just want to scan my. What day. I didn't realize when I was signing up, apparently at some point the Asmodee and FFG websites merged. Yeah, and I was trying to sign in, it wouldn't let me with my typical username. And so I had to register with another name, and then someone told me later that it was actually my FFG login because I also had an Asmodee login, mm. and it brought the username from FFG, but the password from. It says my username is not available, so, you, so I probably you already can probably have log one. In. Yeah, but heaven forbid me imagining what my old password would it's be. It's got to be the standard. I don't do that anymore, though. Zach. I forgot the standard entirely because I'm doing the dash lane thing now. What was it? I used to know your standard. All right, I'm gonna count with these uh, amber prototype. All right, here. I'm just not registering this. <laughs> I'll have to deal with this later. That's Isn't that so funny? funny? This is the fickleness of users these days. All right, I'm gonna scan through these responses really quick. We got a three, two, three, three, two, one, two, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. All right, I'm going to give it uh, 15 more seconds. Just calling good. Yeah, we're out of amber tokens. We're not uh, we're over there. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, it looks like number three is winning as of right now. So we're going to go with the master of three deck. All right. This deck doesn't have any creatures of three power. So <laughs> bummer. You have to purge your own uh, stuff. <laughs> that's really funny. All right, mm. I'm just going to shuffle up and go for it. Do you want to... Char uh, Legion, play with my Covenant token set at a sealed tournament, and people love them. That's awesome. Congratulations on, uh, on getting a set. So those will be in very quickly. Uh, not today, probably. No, not no, today. No, not today. But the, I think early tomorrow? Yeah, we're, tr we're trying to get them in tomorrow at some point. So if you're on the wait list, you'll get an email about that. And we're also going to do a little different. We're going we're gonna to take some pre-orders um, just to get you in the queue if you want to get your order in. So we initially, we emailed so be aware. last week, and we've changed plans since then. So if you got the email, be aware yeah, of that. Yeah, we kind of did. But still, if the pre-order runs out, the wait list is still the best way to, to get on there. Yeah. Yeah, Fabio, we still have some displays for sale, but they're like evaporating. Yeah, the, so also, so John and I streamed last week, uh, and I was predicting that very soon distribution would probably be out. And then They are, aren't they? They are. Yeah, the next yeah. day they were. <laughs> they, they were gone. Uh, so yeah, we have some displays and decks left. If you want to grab those, you can. And then, of course, the, like you said, tomorrow, probably first half of the day, the, the tokens are going to return, and it'll be a pre-order system. So basically the first come, first serve in terms of getting your tokens. Uh, Justin, I, no, we were clarifying. There were some people that were saying, like, uh, I wish I thought this was a two-player starter. So we just wanted to make that more clear. We might do that. We might do some, some what was keys. The question? Um, there's a new listing. It's I put one player in parentheses on the starters um, just to make it clear that it doesn't have two sets Ooh, of keys in it. Six. Yeah. Three. All right, so I'm going first. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, people... Miso Miso, sales are incredible for Keyforge. People were asking why we didn't include enough keys for two people on the yeah. token set, and yeah. the reality is that the token set is designed for a player. Yes. So now that we, I would love to do first? some. Uh, yeah, I would love to do some extra keys, but obviously, if we can't even produce what we've what we're trying to sell right now, we need to stabilize production, and then we can make it better. And all these other businessy terms that everybody's so excited about hearing about. Business, business. All right, so. Interesting. Initial hands here. What what are you looking for <clears throat> out of your opening hand? Um. Okay, so I've got gain one each time a friendly creature fights. Stun, stun. I've got a lot of things that require me to have a very established board, and so they're not going to be of any use to me up front. So I'm going to ditch that. All right. So as a, the player going second, I'm looking for, there's a handful of cards, particularly in this deck. Um, I wonder how many of this are on there. So I will tell you after Steven takes his first turn what I'm looking now, for. Now, see, here's the thing. So technically, if you have a, a good deck and I have a good deck and you win the first game, I should be able, well, I guess that's true because we're playing each other. So never mind. Never mind. Yeah, it's really, I mean, the format's interesting. So we're playing, for anyone just hopping on, I see people popping on on Facebook, we are playing the adaptive format. Steve and I are going to play one game with the decks we have. We're going to switch decks after that. And assuming we need to go to a third game, we're going to bid chains on the last one. Um, and it's so cool because if you have the best deck in the world, you're going to have to let your opponent use it at least once. And then to play it in game three, you're going to have to either spend, you're going to have to spend a lot of chains, right? So 
to me, that's fascinating. It, it, it really, people were concerned. It's like, well, if some deck is just randomly the best, how do you deal with that? And the tr that's a great way of dealing with that. It is an excellent way. OK, I like what I'm doing here. Um, I like this a lot. All right, let's dance. So I'm going first, so I get to play one card. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose Brobnar, I think. All right. And I'm going to play. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to play a Gauntlet of Command. Okay. I think it's a fine first play. Doesn't commit me in any direction necessarily. Just a good thing to have on the board. And then uh, over to you, Zach. Okay. So the card I was looking for uh, in this deck, there's two of them in the deck, and I think this is one of the better like opening cards, and I think a lot of people will start to figure those out in their deck. Is it that one where I can't play from a certain house, that Restringus or whatever? It's ruining the game? No, that would be pretty nuts. It's the Terror. Play if your opponent has no Amber gain two. Yeah, that's nice. So a lot of players won't gain an Amber on the first one, especially when they see Shadows, because they don't want to lose it. And I like just immediately gaining two from that. Then I'll play Control the Weak. I get to name a house. You have to activate that house. Mm. Um, I'm set up for everything being OK. Let's. I feel like, well, you only got to play one, so that doesn't indicate how many Brobnar are in your hand at all. Um, what house would I be most OK with happening here? I don't want to get thefted, so I'm not going to go Shadows. OK. Um, let's just go Brobnar. Okay. Let's let's make you go down the chain. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, and then I will pass this already, and I will draw back up. All right. Pretty good call. Okay. I go in Brobner. Let's trimmer. Stun that terror. Come on. And each of its neighbors. I'll discard a war song, which is for the remainder. Uh, each time a friendly friendly creature fights, I gain an ember. You're discarding or playing? I'm discarding. And that's yeah. all. I'm, same idea. And that's all I can do. So I got to stun you out of that. That's not bad, right? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Control the weak is a is a, a good card, card there. Okay. Um, so there's there's actually been uh, one thing about you're asking about follow the community. One thing that kind of popped up is whether or not a ready and fight action allows you to ready and then not fight if there's no one to fight. Definitely does. And as far as I've seen, that is still the case. So I'm going to yeah. do that here. Um, I'm going to go fire spitter. I'm Brabnar. So he has before fight, deal one to each enemy creature. I'm going to play an anger, so I ready and fight with him. I ready. Uh, I gain an anger from playing it. And I can't fight, so I won't. And then I will just reap. Done. And we will pass. All right. I'll take a sanctum turn. I'll play old Anifol and a bulwark. <sighs> and a hallowed blaster, which is a heal. And then I'll draw my three. All right. Let's think about, about this. What's the Hallow Blaster do? Heal three. Heal three. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Monk, awesome. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> we love that everybody loves them so much. Uh, what was the comment? Just that the tokens. Mm -hmm. We're 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 literally just making as many as possible. I'm gonna. I'm going to put the gas on here. Wilbur, that's what we were saying. Like, If the card says ready and fight, you can ready. You do everything in order as much as you can. So you ready it, and then it can't fight because it had no opposing creatures. So it is now sitting there unready to do anything you want with. Including reaping, which is the preferred action. All right, I'm going to, this is just going to be a pain. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to play Lights Out, gains me an amber, and I can return it. Up to two friendly creatures or two enemy creatures to their owner's hand. Ding! So I always put those in your hand. Uh, I'm going to play a shadow self here. So any damage his neighbors would take, he takes instead. It's not bad. Uh, oh, he's exhausted. Then I'm going to play an Umbra, skirmish, and fight steal one. So mm -hmm. that's pretty good. And I will pass. And I'll say check because I have six amber. Okay. Let's see about this. That's not bad. All right, I'll do a, I'll do a Brobnar turn. All right. Um, let's do an Iron Obelisk plus one uh, to your key cost for friendly undamaged Brobnars. Undamaged or damaged? Uh, for each friendly damage. Thank you. Bumpsy's coming in. You lose one. There it is. Costing me all kinds of trouble. Um, we'll play Lead the Bodies. 
Gain one every time a creature is destroyed. We'll ready and fight with a friendly creature. And let's attack. Hmm. That's a tough one. What? Don't forget about Shadow Song. Yeah, I know. Let's do um, the Terror. Okay. Kill for a kill. And you gain one from that, right? I gain one, yeah. And that is going to be it. Mm. Interesting. I'm going to play Brobnar. Uh, I'm going to play Smith. I gain one, and then if I have more creatures than you, I gain two. You have shadows, though, so I am setting up for a mighty fine bait and switch if that's hmm. anything. Uh, and then I will reap with the fire spitter. Okay. And then I will pass All right. to you. I'm going to take Sanctum um, <laughs> and a feel. <laughs> Can't be stolen. And I'll bulwark there. I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so your <clears throat> amber can't be stolen. Anafiel has taunt with plus two armor from the bulwark. I love bulwark. So good. He does his job. Um, all right, so I'll forge a key for one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, right? Key is forged. Preparing to forge. Um, let's go. Cars needs to get out of my hand. Uh, let's go with. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Can't be stolen, eh? Can't be stolen. Let's go with this. Uh, I'm going to discard that card. I'm going to play a hand of this here. Just destroy. destroy it. Yeah. It's destroy a creature not on a flank. Then I will pass and draw. Right. Not terrible. Okay, now we have some question marks. Is this only during fighting, or is it all damage? All though? damage. Ugh. Chat yourself, be cray. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that kind of works. I need, yeah, I need to get some stuff out here. All right, let's do shadows. I think, yeah, let's do shadows. Silver two is going to interplay ready. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to play a seeker needle. We're going to play a nerve blast. Steal one if you do deal two to a creature. So I'll steal one, do two here, and I'll go to the shadow. Mm -hmm. Thief. Let's do two uh, here. I guess it doesn't matter either way. Two armor, minus two, so I won't take any damage. Or I could just attack the shadow self, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Um, seven. Let's do a pawn sacrifice. We'll sacrifice here to deal three damage to two creatures. We'll do three here and three here. Or three and three. So it goes Either way, just kill the shadow self. Yeah. Three and then two. So one will actually get through somewhere. Okay, let's do one there. You got him. And that is going to be it. Did I get my, let's see, I stole one and I got my pawn sacrifice. So I needed one more. All right, I need to kill that vault keeper. He's cool. Is he rare? Yes, he is. Why, <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> One, two, um, three, four, five. He's got three armor six. from Bulwark. Ugh. What's the best way to do this? Um, all right, let's do... this. Do you know... Yeah, I know. I know the answer to that now. 
It's really annoying what I'm having to do to make this happen. Good. Ugh. I'm trying to get that board presence going, right? That's what you got to do with Sanctum. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to go Shadows. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to fight. I have Skirmish. So I'm going to fight the Vault Keeper, which okay. is going to take away two of your armor. All right, two armor so done. down to your natural armor. That would have stolen one normally. Ah, yeah. Then I'm going to play Relentless Whisper. So I gain one, and it says deal two damage to a creature. If it destroys that creature, steal one. So it's not going to, but I'll do your last armor and one actual damage. Okay. Then I'm going to play Finishing Blow, and it says I gain one, and then destroy a damaged creature. If I do, steal one. Okay. So my question is, there's not more about in this game. I don't think so. Time. Destroy so a damaged creature, and then do the next destroy, thing. Destroy, and then I'll steal one. Then, for my next trick, hmm. I'm going to play an Urchin, play Steal One. Ugh. And then I will play Miasma, you can't forge keys on your next turn, just to, to get, get it out of my hand. And then I will pass, and I will say check, and we will draw back up. All right, let's go with... Do 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 Jesus. Huh. Mm. Someone's uh Philip Roland uh talking about the damage to the shadow self is simultaneous. Okay, so you don't you know it doesn't splash? Yeah, I don't yeah that's fine, so. you can take it out. I don't hopefully it doesn't make a huge difference in your life. No. Um, I'll go Sanctum. Let's go with... I like that name. Ferrari, the Shieldmaster of Kings. Ferreira. Is it considered fully healing a creature if you don't heal it at all? Like, if I heal this and it says, if you do so, it's this weird card. I'll just play it. We can get a look at it. <laughs> um... You may fully heal a creature. If you do, that creature cannot be dealt damage for the remainder Absolutely. of the turn. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if he reaps, you can pick a creature to heal, and then it can't be damaged. Okay. That's that's solid. I dig that card, yeah. That's the art's solid. pretty cool, too. I like the... I, I realize this. In Sanctum, there are the human knights, and there are the spirit knights. Mm -hmm. And I really dig a lot of the art on the spirit knights. Uh, Ryan's saying, if you heal no damage, it's not considered healed. That's something. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this game works. <laughs> uh, play, I'm not a rules reader. Take hostages. I'll take an amber for the remainder of the turn. Each time a friendly creature fights, it captures one. Okay. I'll play a doorstep to heaven. Each player with five or six or more is reduced to five. That's me. Yeah. Get out of here. That's good. Then. Um, Let's swing an old Umbra. Okay. And take none in return. You destroy me. And I'll capture one for take hostages. Yikes. And uh, that'll be it. Okay. Moving on. Mine skis? Yeah. Let's do this. Um, Fascinating cards. <laughs> Is that good or bad? It's fascinating. <laughs> uh, let's go with Brobnar. Uh, I'm going to play a couple cards here. First, I'm going to play War Song. For the remainder of the turn, gain one any time a friend of the creature fights. Okay. I'm also going to play Follow the Leader. This turn, all my creatures can fight. Okay. That's fair. It would have been really good if I had more creatures. Yeah, that's pretty you good. You just got to use what you got to use. So then I'm going to also play Loot the Bodies. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's a good little well, uh, I don't know one, two, if it's three gonna, punch, gonna huh? matter so much. I might destroy a creature and we'll, we'll see. Um, so then I'm going to uh, fight here. Uh, let's. Bulwark's got six. Mm -hmm. Five. I should be able to get through. He's got two armor as well. Two. <laughs> I'll be able to get there. <laughs> but that's it. That's the only only thing I'll get. Okay. Uh, he, 
I will use the urchin to fight. Um, I'll gain one when he fights because of Warsong. Yep. And it'll do one damage to Bulwark. He has two armor, so he'll still have one armor left. Then, for my next trick, um, let's go with uh, the Fire Spitter. Yep. He will attack Bulwark. Before fight, it'll do one damage to each of your creatures. So one armor, one armor. Yep. And then when we actually fight, um, you'll be four to me, I'll do five to you. Yep, so you take three and I die. <laughs> and you die. your armor. So the captured one, I have Warsong, and I have Loot the Bodies. Then I'll play a Gauntlet of Command. I'll also play a uh, Hebe the Huge. Uh, play, deal two damage to each other undamaged creature. So I'll just deal two to you. Ding! And then I will pass. And say, check skis. Okay. <laughs> that would have been awesome way earlier. Oh, that's actually a great card against the horseman. Interesting. Each creature that's destroyed in front of you. Matthew, yeah, thank you. Um, okay. Talking about the tokens. We are, we're making a ton. They should be back in uh, tomorrow, and we're going to be... Uh, pre pre selling them or pre ordering them. So, if you are wanting to get on that, pay attention tomorrow. And if you're not already on the wait list, you should hop on that on the website. Okay. Well, I'll be taking a shadows turn. Uh, well, miasma you, miasma you, miasma me. Yikes. I'll put that over here so we don't forget. And then. Play another Seeker Needle, and then I'll deal one. Armor applies to this, right? Yeah. Uh, to old Herbert. Herbert the Huge. I like that. And that'll be it. I'll draw to you. Hmm. So I can't forage. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Um, let's go with this. I'm going to play. This card's cool. Key to Dis, it's Omni, sacrifice it to destroy each creature. So I'm just going to put that over That's here. That's pretty nice. Um, Could have an impact. I'm going to play Eater of the Dead. This is a great card against the Horseman, by the way. So it's Fight Reap, purge a creature from a discard pile. If I do, put a plus point power counter on it. Oh, I love that so card. So like, if you have the Horseman that gets all the Horsemen, I can just reap and... That's pretty good. Take it to the Underworld somehow. Um, then I'm going to play Poltergeist. Um, so I gain one, and it says, use an artifact controlled by any player as if it were yours, then destroy that artifact. Oh, that's, so, do you get to do that? Is that an event? That is a... Uh, action? Yeah. Okay. It's an action event. Um, what are you going to use? Gauntlet of Command? Probably that Gauntlet of Command. Does it consider I mean. yours for the resolving of the ability? So like a friendly so creature of yours? As if it were yours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that's the case. Um, it's really tough, actually. I'm not sure what's going to be the most beneficial. I kind of want to ready and fight with something, but I also don't. Um, let's just go with, what would you get rid of? You don't have to tell me that. I'm t it's uh, probably Gauntlet of Command. I think it's the most universally valuable. So I haven't played Brobnar in a long time too, so I'll probably have a turn coming up. I'm kind of between Gauntlet and this. The, the discard. problem is the double secret needle is going to get annoying. How many yeah. times can you go shadows without anything on the board? I'll though? use Gauntlet of Command. Um, and I'll ready and fight. So I will actually pick Hey Bay the Huge. Okay. And he'll just punch you. And that's just six to five. Yeah. So, so death both, to death. Both go. Death to death. And then I'll pass. So already I'll say check again and hope you don't have another miasma. Okay. Is there anything that can be done? Um, this is interesting. I'll go shadows. Okay. Well, it's too much to protect you. Steal all but six of your amber. Whoosh. That hurts. I'll turn it around a little bit. That's a great card. Yeah, and then let's double seek your needle on the eater. Okay. And that will be me. All right. 
I'll forge my second key. Forged. What's what I'm starting to figure out is like because there's only three keys, like in this case, right? You definitely have enough to forge a key here, mm -hmm. and you're on your way to your second. It, it just takes one well placed miasma for me to lose this game. Like if I get two or three here and two or three the next turn, you steal a couple, two or three there. That's true. And then it's like when I'm going to four, that's plenty of time for you to actually. Yeah. It's true. It is a real thing. All right. What do I want to do, though? I think I want to be fun. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Let's go Shadows. I'm going to play Miasma. Mm, I can't, I can't forge. Yep. No. I'm going to play Subtle Mall. It's an artifact. I can I love that use card. a discard card from your hand. I'm also going to play Ar uh, Customs Office, and it's one of my rares. I wish I'd had this earlier. Hilariously reminds me of spoilers. You should check out this little character on the art. But it says your opponent must pay you an amber in order to play an artifact. Oh, nice. All right, well, that's not going to be a big deal right uh, now, maybe. Then I'll pass, and it'll be your turn. Yeah, that's, that's hilarious. Actually, it's so hard to justify. I played uh, that card against Jonathan, and he immediately, like, he'd play an artifact. He's like, don't forget, you have to pay me money. He's like, nope, not worth it. Discard it. <laughs> not worth it. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I've got this. Uh, Got a good. That's good. Uh, okay, let's do uh, Brobnar. Um, uh, the difference between the two decks here is I have Dis and he has Sanctum. Let's play a Blood Money. So two from the common supply and an enemy creature. So that can be this guy. Man, and he'll get Secret Needle. And then I have a War Chest, but I don't want to spend an Amber. How on does it. War Chest read? Action: Gain an Amber for each enemy creature destroyed in a fight this turn. That's like loot the bodies on a stick. It could be good. That's unbelievable. I, I can't. I'm, I'm too far behind. Can't do it. And then I'll draw my four. Alrighty, Roo. You know, the first time I heard that was Ross on Friends. Alrighty, Roo? Yeah. I uh, didn't know where that came from. Neither did I. <laughs> no, I, did I? I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> You're not playing any uh, low power creatures here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm doing my best. Interesting. Man, I've got a weird turn, potentially. Ooh, so weird I, turn. I'm in this weird, like, I just just need to get to the finish line. Just need to get there. Mode. Yeah. But it's weird. I need you to play something that's kind of like two strength so that I can actually like fight it without dying. Coming up. Great. Um, man. All right, I'm going to play Dis again. And we're going to play... Don't do one of those no 4G cards. I won't. Shaffles, at the end of my turn you lose one. Yeah, it's got to go. Uh, Master of three. There he is. Okay. He can reap to... That's far from impressive. Uh, destroy a creature with three power. Yeah, I don't... So they haven't figured out what it it's just makes, cool. makes them the master of three. It's but just cool. at least in my deck list, the three cards above him on the list are rare. Oh, of course. That's got to be it, right? That's it, it for my deck. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. You think that's what that means? I don't know. Is I know the... I love this key of dis. Key to dis. Do you... Uh, Kyle Wee is saying that he hasn't seen the card yet. So it's a four strength that has a reap. You may destroy a creature with three power. Mine in particular on the list has three rares right above it. Where's the Where's the Keyforge? Uh, Keyforge, uh, where do I go to find the decks? Like to find the decks with Master of Three? You log into the website? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, there's actually uh, there's another website. Okay, so it's just a coincidence. So have we checked? Have you guys checked and made sure that it's not just the number of rares? So, somebody would have figured that out in a heartbeat. That's like child's play. I assume. Yeah, that's just a coincidence. Uh, Pretty cool one, though. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I remember. Um, then I will reap, and I'll purge a creature from your discard pile. Can I see your discard pile? Sure. And when you purge it, you just rip it right in half, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People online just, like, start twitching. <laughs> I'd never want to see this card in this game again. Bulwark. Bulwark. See you later. Get him out of there. As he's much purged. as I love him, he's gone. You're out of the party. Um, and then I'll pass. End of my turn, you lose one. Buyer beware. Man, already? It's every, every time. All right, I'm forging. Turn. Ding. 
on the board. Dun, 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 so dun, 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 dun. technically, I'm like <clears throat> seven amber currently up, but there's also anytime there's amber on an opponent's creature. In my brain, it's always just in my savings. It's, just, my, it's like a savings account. It's in the other person's pool. I'm going to get it back. Okay, now I've got some... Zach, I, I'm... I mean, this is insane what, what could, could be going on here. <clears throat> okay. Hit me with it. All right, so I'm going to go Shadows. And I'm going to play my Snack Lifter. What which snack? steals an artifact. Now... I could take that key to Deuce and kill everything. Yep. Which is interesting. That gets me uh, two amber. I could Seeker Needle one of your two costers first to get another amber uh, and feel pretty okay about that. I could also take the Subtle Maul and use two Seeker Needles and a Subtle Maul this turn. Have you discard a card, kill one of your, kill your Shaffles there. Um, but I think it's all about that key, honestly. Give me that key. Mm. Give me that key. All right, and then I'm going to double Seeker Needle on the Shaffles to gain an Amber. Then I'm going to pop the key, kill everything. And he's back in the game. Is that purged or is that just destroyed? Sacrifice okay. to... Oh, no. Yeah, destroy each creature. That's right. And so that's going to go away. I'm telling you. Then I'm going to play a Dodger. And then we're going to stand back up. All right. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's go Brobnar. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go old Herbert the Huge again. Two damage to every undamaged creature. Herbert himself? Herbert Oh, when he, when he plays? Yeah. Does, it, does he hurt himself? It's every other creature. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to do a punch. Three damage, and I get... Ah, it. you didn't. Killed him. My dodger. Um, then I'm going to Gauntlet of Command. Oh, I can't fight. Convenient. <laughs> <What>? I'll reap. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to play Relentless Assault. Ready and fight with up to three creatures. Oh, he can't, though. I'll just oh, He's one. just going to reap. I get it. Uh, and then I'll pass. You're up. Okay. What's a funny card to draw right now? Ooh. Josh Matthews has a flute triple bear deck. What other houses are in that deck? I must know. And if you want, I'll just go ahead and give you my bank account number. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Ooh, I've got some weird stuff. Got to hold it to wrong stuff. So you didn't get damaged at all in any of that, did you? No. Nope. It's not great. Excellent. Hmm. 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 All right. You know what? Tell me the deal here. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna set up for some. Is there bait and switch in that deck? Big tuna. No, not at all. That's a bummer. Um. I was on razor's edge the whole time. Man. This is going to be a weird play, okay? And don't, don't judge it. Don't judge it. Josh, yes, please do. I'd love to see it. Ah, but I don't want to do it. The struggle is real. Okay. All right. All right. Calculating. Ah, it's impossible. Games are hard. That's right. Take your time. I'll sit here and hurry up. Take your time. Entertain. Hurry up. Take mm -hmm. your time. What's that from? Uh, it's either from The Simpsons, or it's probably from The Simpsons. I was not allowed to watch that as a child. Yeah. Well, I, that was the one thing I could do. The one thing. It's the only thing. You got home Simpsons. That's <laughs> the it. One thing. No dinner for you. All no right. Sleep? I'm gonna do shadows. Seeker needle. Two damage to Heeb. Holy. That's it. Smackerolis. Three That's seeker it. needle deck. What madness is this? Yeah. Getting set up just in time. Right for this last turn. Um, I guess I'll do this. Don't have a forge a key out of normal stuff. I don't. I don't. Step. No, okay. You're good. Uh, let's go with Brobnar. Okay. I'll reap. It's always good when it's not. Ready? Deuce. Reap. 
I'll play Bumpsy, you lose one. Hey. And then I'll pass. Check. All right, get ready for some serious water treading here. You won't even... I was hoping. You won't even know. I was really hoping that's what we were about to get. Okay, well, clearly the first thing that we do is we play a gatekeeper. If you have seven or more, capture all but five of it. Wah, wah, wah. Gate kept. He's cool. Protectrix. Or Protectix. Um, cleansing Wave. Heal one damage from each creature. Gain one for everything healed. Getting there. I wouldn't say sitting still. I'd say you're moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Um, it hurts how funny it is. I'm trying to think if I should... Okay. Then I would... Yeah. Okay, so I'll hold there, and then I'll draw three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. Mine? Yep. Let's all stand these guys up. Also, we looked. I think you technically, when you're out of deck, you go ahead and reshuffle. I'm doing it. If not, then you could obviously play cards your next turn and get them back in your hand quicker, etc. Oh wait, I had to. I had to honor your customs office for that secret needle. I'm just gonna discard it. <laughs> it would be in your deck. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> wasn't wasn't worth an amber. I Isn't assure that you. Customs office <laughs> crazy. You, when I first saw it, it was like, okay, yeah. I mean, I guess that's fine if they have artifacts. But, like, the number of cards that suddenly are, like, just not worth playing None anymore. None of them. Not a single one. They go out, <laughs> Unless it's, like, the first turn, you can steal it. Like, All right. Go for it. All right. Let's go. I mean, I'm just kind of sitting on it here. You're about to kill my creatures, though. Maybe. No, it's, it's got to happen. you got to kill stuff. You don't know that. I'm pretty confident. I'm going to go with uh, Brabnar. Yeah. Reap twice. Ready and fight. And... I can fight. I'm not going to do that. You can fight. Wait a second. Yeah, you can fight. Fight here. Six on five. Oh, wait. I'll we just both kill die, that guy yeah. and get my amber back. I'll ready and fight. We're ready. I'll fight. I'll go six there. All right. You get your amber back and you die. That's right. And I really hope you don't have bait and switch. Everyone's so scared of that card. Why is that? Well, right now, it would mean you have... You would take me to six and you would go up to seven amber with a single card. Check. Side note. Thanks. Hmm. Let's go uh, this one. Sanctum? Sanctum? This one. Doorstep to heaven, you. Six or more goes down to five. <laughs> I'll tell you, the game's not over until you put someone away. Um... Which is what I'm about to do to your face. Yeah, I, I don't. The next turn is really the most questionable one. Um, we'll play a cleansing wave for nothing. I don't think there's any way to get you damaged on this board, right? You can. Uh, you just kill me. No. I think I, I. I have to reap to go to the second key, probably, but I really want to get that off the board because then conceivably you might not have a way to gain an amber. Potentially. This, it's possible. That is certain. I mean, it's it's more than possible. It's not a bad <laughs> chance. I, I wouldn't bet on it if I were you in this particular instance. Uh, but if I don't go up, then what am I even doing, right? If I don't <laughs> even threaten a key, then how do I get out of this? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know, right? I mean, it's an interesting balance, too, because, like, I'll have to choose between, like, guaranteed Amber or, like, continuing to build. Yeah. Because if I get guarantee and you play another any card that does exactly what you've been doing to me this whole game. Because, like, you can reap in the Gauntlet of Command, kill Protectrix. But then it's like, do you have a way to steal one? And then you keep me off key again? You'll draw, obviously. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and reap. All righty. 
and then that'll be it. And I'll draw two. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to play Shadows. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. First and foremost, uh, I'm going to play Nexus. When Nexus reaps, I can use one of your artifacts. OK. That'll be fun. Uh, let's go ahead and play a Miasma. Cute. I assume you'll return the favor shortly enough. Subtle Maul, let's discard a card at random from your hand. And I'm looking for Miasma, because <laughs> I don't want that card to get played on I don't me. think I have one in there. Silvertooth. Ah, that was kind of critical to my plan uh, here. Maxwell Silvertooth. <laughs> uh, then I will pass. All right. I'll so say I gotta, check as well. I've got to get rid of one. I can't, though. I can't. There's nothing on the board that would, right? Oh, if I could damage a Brobnar creature somehow. Um, is there a way to do that? I can't hurt myself, right? Is that not in the cards? What do you mean by that? You could, like, seek and heal yourself. Yeah. But then how do I... There's no way to get a friendly Brobnar creature damaged. Because you have to play a Brobnar creature yeah. and somehow damage it. Yeah. Yeah. If you had that gauntlet of command I blew up earlier. Hey, yeah, why'd you do that? Ding. <laughs> ding. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. All right, yeah, there's nothing. Make sure. Look at this. Make sure there's nothing I can do. Mm. Close to close to something. It's starting to look like something. <laughs> nope, can't do anything. Can't do All it. Right, All right, it. you did so it. So that's game one. So if you were just not tuning in, I see people hopping on Facebook still. Um, we are playing the adaptive format. So we just played the first game. And I was using Steph Feargate from the Sears condo. It's pretty close to my name. Steph? Yeah. Yeah. Steph is short for Stephen. <laughs> it's spelled the way that you do not like, or you do not spell your name. I don't usually spell it like that. People no. do. Sometimes, uh, But in the adaptive format, you play a game with your deck, and then you pass your deck over to your uh, opponent, friend, nemesis, ally, whatever you want to call it. All right, it. let's see. Okay, quick. Okay, I understand it. I mean, you just saw me play it, right? Yeah. Seemingly, you just uh, gain amber and forge keys. That is that Seems is to be the, the strength of the deck. That is the theme. <laughs> Do you have a ID card somewhere? I don't really need to see it. I just no, want to make sure I don't shuffle. The that. great thing is, see, is you can punk your friends by being like, "Hey, look, I just beat you with the deck that you couldn't beat me with." I mean, Which that's pretty impressive. What's well, part of what makes this format so cool is that, like, again, we were saying earlier, one of the big concerns when this game got announced was, what happens when one deck is printed and it's just better than the rest? Outside of the concept of chains, which is kind of an equalizer, which we'll talk about in a second, this format alone answers that, which is you play a game with each deck, so if you have the craziest deck in the world, you're going to let your opponent play with it, and then if you have to go to game three, which assuming you do have the craziest deck in the world means you will probably be going to game three, yeah. you then bid chains on it, and essentially it, for every chain you have, or a, a chain, if you have chains at all, start at the end of your turn when you draw up, you draw less cards based on the number of chains you have, and you drop one of the chains. So if the deck is crazy better, someone might have to bid like 12 chains mm -hmm. plus to get it, and then it's like you're playing down a card or two the whole game. Yeah. Um, but like, it is such a balancing it's crazy. format. Tell me what you think about this. Uh, me see, me see. Adaptive format is fantastic for casual, but not for competitive. You don't really want other people handling your deck. It feels bad. I mean, you could have you could shuffle your deck for your opponent, right? Like, if you're worried about them shuffling like a weirdo. I get, like, shuffling or, like, you know, uh, just general care of your deck. But I think... You don't want any, like, bodily fluids. But you got sleeves on them, you know, kind of That's kind of that my reason. point, which is, like... And it's not collectible in the same sense as, like, a collectible game. Force. Uh, I mean, I, that's the one concern. But I think, as we kind of talked about earlier, the adaptive format to me is one of the most balanced ways possible to play a game. So for that reason alone, I would, as a competitive player, I don't care about you touching my cards half as much as I care about never having to play against the same eight decks in a row at a tournament or getting milled out every round of a tournament or com you know, like essentially the benefits of it so outweigh the idea that you get to hold my cards. Now maybe also, maybe this is just Maybe this is what the industry needs. Maybe people need to not be so uptight about who's handling their deck and feeling like it's like this sacred object. Maybe it should be more about having fun with the person in front of you 100%. than being so concerned about these very particular technical parts of playing a game. Well, and I also wonder, honestly, like 
the vulnerability that is required for me to hand you my deck, especially if I value it, um, and the trust that has, like, it's, it's... I think it can build some bridges. Yeah, it's like you have to be like, all right, like, here's my phone. Don't drop it. Yeah. Like... A lot of times when you give people responsibility, they become responsible. Isn't that weird? All right. Um, I'm going second because you won the roll off. And I'll keep my hand. Oof. See, this is what I don't like. I, I think I might have to mulligan this. I have a great hand. I think one thing that we didn't talk about when it came to evaluating decks is, and I may do a blog about this, this could end up being a thing. There are cards in this game that are great to have in your opening hand. Yeah. Even as this deck, which I've never played before, haven't even really looked at the list, um, there is a stack of cards, and this card's, this deck's got two of this card, um, that I think is great to open with. I'm looking to see if there's any others that I would really like to open with. I think you're, uh... What'd Imagine you the gathering there are cheaters who will palm one of your cards during a tournament. If they do that while using your Keyforge deck, the entire deck is destroyed. You got bigger problems if that's a concern. Right? Like, check the, your deck they'll afterwards. They'll do what? They'll, they'll like, palm a card, and then maybe if they keep it, then your deck's invalid. It's like... Well, then, count the cards afterwards, and if they stole it, ban them from the store forever. Yeah, right? and I mean, like, come on. That's where, like, tech, the thing to me about it is that these decks, while there are some that are selling for crazy amounts, um, for the most part, it's just a $10 deck. So, like, it's not like my ultra rare Charizard that I paid $400 for that you crinkled that, that, that is suddenly devalued. So, like, inherently, like, if, again, if you're playing adaptive format, if you have any decks that you're that concerned about, don't play those decks. Yeah, that's probably fair. I don't know. It's interesting. It's inter you know what? This game is forcing issues that are, have been bubbling under this weird tabletop competitive thing for many, many years. It started with Magic and has, has expanded out from there. But it's like, this is a format designed to make the game fun. And if there are issues that are preventing it from working, that's a problem. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and I think, that, you know, the trick for me, like I was showing earlier, I have this, like, stack of decks. Uh-huh. And it's like, these are the decks I'm interested in playing are the ones I've bought. And like, if I go to a tournament and I'm using this one for adaptive, and one of the cards gets destroyed, this is the one I'm most interested in playing out of this yeah. deck. That's horrible. That's bad, but also I mean, what like, do you do, though? I mean, maybe FFG prints one for you. No. Unlikely. They don't. But <laughs> they definitely don't. That's, the point for me is like, it's worth the risk in terms of like, if there's a format that makes the game really fun and a mm -hmm. lot of people enjoy, and one out of a thousand events I go to, I lose a deck. Mm -hmm. Isn't this also, this feels very much like, you know, sitting around and watching like 24-hour news cycles for six years. <laughs> it's like you think that everybody out there is just looking to like destroy your stuff and steal your cards. It probably is never going to happen. Yeah. Never. Never. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. All right. You ready? And you're like one of the most obvious cheaters in... In, in the history of tabletop <laughs> gaming. That, I'm going to switch, switch my Twitter description <laughs> to that, which is like... According to Stephen Woolley, one of the most obvious <laughs> cheaters in tabletop. All right, you ready? Look at me touching your deck all weird. <laughs> this is making you feel weird. Not bothered at all. <laughs> the weirdest thing you do, and most people would never know this until I said it, <laughs> is that I always know when Stephen's been using my cards because a third to a, a half of the deck will be upside down. Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason. <laughs> it's a problem. Man. I don't know I what happens. Sometimes just, it happens. You just get... You, you know, it doesn't happen to you? All right, no. Let's go. Game two. Here we go. Ding, ding. Uh, I'm going to play Silvertooth. That's a great card comes, to open Comes with. into play ready. There's two of these in your deck, which I think is a great card you to look for. You just get a free amber. Opening. So I'll play it. I'll go ahead and reap because he comes in ready. But now I get to steal something. Yeah. Well, you might, but there's also the reality is I know I, I know that deck, right? I brought it. There's two terrors in there. Mm -hmm. So if you have a terror in your hand, you play gain two from that creature, which is a crazy value. All right. Well, I'm going shadows. Welcome to Customs Office because I know that deck likes oh, to play artifacts. son of a... And there's an umbra as well, and... Turn one customs off. Did you mulligan? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. But every other card is worthless in the opening hand, so I guess I'm dealing with that now. Um, and I'll draw two. <laughs> so, so someone on Facebook, Purr, says, uh, it's a good point, but at the same time, any other CCG tournament, you could do the same. Take someone's bag and run for the door. It's like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like playing yeah. your deck anywhere technically could loot, cost you a card. Okay, uh, you didn't gain as much amber as I was hoping you would. I didn't gain any. 
Yeah, that's that's a, my, my grand plan. Precisely. I did it last time, too. Yeah, I know, Wizard. It's it's bizarre. It is weird that I don't keep my cards in line. I actually think I do now. I think keep I it. figured out my system. Is, is it when you're discarding somehow? Yes. So I like to have it where I pull up like this, and the top of the card is here. So I pull from the side. Yeah. And I can see. So I pull up, but then when I discard, and I discard, when I go to shuffle this back in, I'll dump like this, and now the front's that way. Yep. So I don't do that anymore. Well, I appreciate that. Maybe. All right, I'm going to go Sanctum. We're going to play a Protectrix. It's the Reap heal, heal a creature fully. And I'll just get rid of a Cleansing Wave because it's not going to do anything for me. I hope you're not playing Artifacts because I played that Customs Office. Currently not, yeah. Okay, let's go Dees. Play some creatures um, for me. How about Dis, that? if you will. I will. Wait, are, do you have things that punish me for doing that? No, not no. yet. <laughs> let's play the key. Key to this is awesome. Hmm. Look do at I that art. Play creatures? That art is exactly where I want to live. Let's play an Eater of the Dead and a uh, Master of Three. I'll cover up the Eater in case you have. I guess I would know if you had cards that punish the flank. You have the one Valder that does extra to flank stuff, so I yeah. guess I'll put it there. And then I'll uh, draw three. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That's amazing. I didn't know you had this. You didn't play this in our game. What was it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would like you to, to... This is another fun concept in this game, which is like, if you don't gain Amber, there's so many cards, especially in Shadows, that just... Don't do anything. Oh, yeah. I'm being adaptive, don't you see? Don't you see? <laughs> um, let's go with Shadows. Um, I'm going to Reap with Silvertooth. I'm going to play Miasma just to gain an Amber and get it out of my hand. Oh, uh, weak. I'm holding mine. Um, I mean... <laughs> LOL. I'm going to play Pawn Sacrifice. So I sacrifice a friendly creature, I'll do Silvertooth. I uh, deal three damage each to two different creatures. So I'm going to get rid of Umbra. And I'm going to get rid, or not get rid of, I'm going to deal three damage to Eater of the Dead. I love the size of these tokens. Woo. They're, they're correct. Woo. Uh, and then I'll just uh, pass. So I draw two. And don't forget, you can't forge a key this round. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hmm. 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 Josh, let me ask you if we ran into a deck that we have to apply chains to for a handicap. So we haven't really gotten that far yet. We're playing the adaptive format here. We each play one game with each other's decks, and then if we go to game three, we're going to bid chains. Um, but I would say, last week I played against Jonathan on stream, and I wish we had had time to do it. But we played a couple games, and it was apparent uh, that w for one reason or another, my deck was just stronger. And so we were talking about me giving him a rematch, but starting with like six chains or something. They're pretty sweet. So we may either do that in, in non-stream life or on stream at some point. All right, I'm just going to do it. i got to get this out of my hand. Uh, bait and switch. That means I get two, right? Yoink. Yep. Um, miasma. <laughs> That's what I mean. I had bait and switch and miasma opening hand. I'm like, ah, I'd rather mm -hmm. toss that. Not ideal. Relentless whispers. Two to you. Sometimes you just got to clear the old hand, right? Yeah, I agree. And then... Uh, now, do you, you don't technically have three power right now, do you? No. Right, okay. No. That, would, <laughs> that make that guy way better. I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. Uh, all right, so let's go Brobnar. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this uh, Iron Obelisk because it's not worth one. That's right. Uh, this I'm, game's over already. I'm going to play Bumpsy. You lose one. Oops, Thanks. I Bumpsy. <laughs> I'm going to play War Drummer. He bounces back to my hand. Ah, you Brobnar nonsense. <laughs> and I'm going to pass. I'm not ready. Where yeah. was that when I was playing? Then your deck, apparently. The only, when I see Silvertooth, the only thing I can think about is Maxwell Silverhammer. I want to be honest. Hmm. You bet, Josh. Happy to answer. If you have any more questions, hit up the chat. Oh, yeah. Look at me. I'm going to master of three you. Out of control. Okay. Um, I don't know that I want to play this Soul Snatcher thing. Each time a creature is destroyed, its owner gains one amber. I discarded that like a hot fire when I was playing against you. 
But at the same time, it could be good. It, it, <laughs> like you could have a key to Dees turn in there. And so, is it Dees or Dees? Can we solve this? I think it's Dees like Dees card. Richard said Dees. I thought he, he was said playing Dees. Right, or Brad said Dees. Brad Dees. said Dees. Dis. Okay, we'll say Dis. So uh, what I will say about that deck is that it's got two hand of Dis, no, two gateway to Dis, which clears the board, and the key to Dis. So I think the correct call is getting their creatures off the board. If you have three or four out, then you play it, kill the board, gain four. Yeah. It's kind of like a last turn of the game move for me. Okay. I'm going to get rid of it then. But it's gone. Mileage may vary. Um, yeah. Reap to purge that. Purge? Yeah, Oof. it's purged. Uh, let's reap to purge something from the discard pile. You got a creature in there? I have the war drum. Oh, he just got purged. He's not in my discard pile. Uh, silver tooth? Yeah, purge. Purge. If I'm not careful, my whole creature base will be gone. And then I'm going to control the weak. And this is an interesting one. You know, because I want to call shadows, but I feel like you haven't played shadows in forever. But if I call uh, either of these, you can activate the thing that's on the board, which is not ideal either. You could also be sitting on three Seeker Needles, True, which would be hilarious. But I would never play them. Uh, and then I know that you, you got some Miasma in there, which won't matter. Let's do Shadows. So I have to play Shadows. Got to play Shadows. Could be bad. All right. There we go. Oakley doakley. Um, that Shadow Self, though. I'm going to play Nerve Blast. I steal one. If I do, do two damage to a creature, so we'll do two to Did the... Did you steal it already? Yeah. Master of three. Taken. And then I'm going to play Silvertooth. Comes into play ready. Silvertooth will fight the Master of three and kill it. But you die too. It's tr true. Uh, and then I'll pass. Hey, I did it. Good for me. <laughs> you reading the good cards? Yes, indeed. Okay, let's do uh, Brobs. Question. Yep. I'll ask you after you take your turn. I got plans. All right, Brobs it is. Um, bumps. Punch. Let's steal three here. Uh, uh, Ryan asking if we ever played live games against subscribers. Um, what, what do you mean by live? Like in, in like real Skype? life? Like uh, Skype? Or over the internet? Because I, I don't know why... I do not like playing games online. Yeah, like I know why. Because there's tabletop and stuff. Follow yeah. the leader. I can fight with stuff. Um, I'll do five to bumps. Mm. He dead. He dead. <laughs> and that's it. All right. Here's the question. Keep it tidy. Question of the hour. <laughs> Let's suppose I had a card that could take one of your uh, artifacts. Uh huh. And it's a creature, and that creature gets destroyed. I think it goes back. We we look this up. Any 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 ownership, the card that that steals the card if it leaves play goes back to its original owner. I'm almost certain. Let's ask our friends online. On the interwebs, they we'll know give, a lot we'll more give than them a we second do about just this stuff. To do that, because Snecklifter, who you're familiar with. Oh, you're so right. Oh, that makes that play even better. Shadow Self uh, uh, yeah. would take so that damage. You can purge a creature and then get another token as well. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I meant to do. So. Bumpsy would have hit you for five, so yeah. Shadow Self would take five. Taken. Thank you. And, and then, then you uh, another power counter. Purge a want? creature from a discard pile. Yeah, well, we got Silvertooth, Protectrix, and Bumpsy. You have another Silvertooth in there? Yeah. Let's put a, a double Silvertooth. Just, you know. Why make, not? Make sure that you don't have any shenanigans. Yeah, that's way better for you. Yeah, Woo, that's what I meant to do. <laughs> it was intentional. I swear. The thing taking control of leaves play. Wait, that's not true. This is impossible. Um, soaks the bumpsy. Yeah. Um, okay. So it, it's yours until the thing you took leaves play. Okay. So you have it forever once you steal it. Really? Yeah. Sounds like. Well, hello there. <laughs> Uh, we're going to snack lifter that. Um, <sighs> Here's the truth. Finally. At long last, we have <laughs> arrived. No, the truth is, key to disc is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Gauntlet Command is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Customs Office has no immediate benefit to me. 
You know the deck. I don't play a lot more uh, artifacts, do I? Well, I'm just saying it lets me play artifacts. Oh, that's true. That actually is very relevant for you. And there's a lot of good artifacts I haven't seen yet. Hey, Chad, uh, look for him tomorrow. Asking about the tokens? Yeah. And we're going to be doing pre-orders as well, so we're going to we're going to get everybody in line who wants them because that's just way easier for everybody involved. Yeah, we originally when the demand was insane, the response was incredible. So if you were part of that response, thank you. It's amazing. But we just just started making as many as we could, and then when we've been doing that for a month, a month. Yeah, but when <laughs> when past that, right? It's like because we had a day or two in when people signed up for the waitlist was more than we were capable of producing, and the time is happening. Uh, we decided to switch to pre-orders, which will be going up tomorrow. So you can just order, get in line, and then it'll ship as soon as we can possibly make them. So that'll be, that's awesome. The, the response to that has been amazing. What are you stealing? Man, this, I, think, I think the game comes down to this play. No. I, actually I don't do. think you have a chance. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> because the problem is I have a play that's insane if I make it. Uh, but I'm going to take the riskier play. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm you gonna... always are going to take the riskier play. Why do you that, say that's that? not even a question. You're, that's what you do. That's what your <laughs> that's your style. But the... you're a hail mary guy. I am. The You've... problem is, I know you got that bait and switch, which is like a hail mary. It's like odds of interception go to. What's like... in the discard pile? Oh, it is. In the discard I played it already. Yeah. Hail mary time. <laughs> I'm going to take the key to this. Yeah. See uh, now, if I had that other thing out, I'd get three amber when you wipe the board. I'm going to pass and draw a card. Okay. That's it, huh? Yep. You will see my plan. It's it's gonna happen. All right, let's do a uh, let's do a uh, Brobnar turn. This is gonna be it. Do you have bait and switch over there? No, you don't. I've seen your deck. I played it. It's mine. Uh, but I know you have all of those. Cards. Ooh, that actually makes things really bad. You have all those weird cards. Brian, I'm not sure what you're asking if we play live. Uh, he tried to clarify, but I also still don't understand. I just don't <laughs> understand. Say it one more time. Slower. Okay, so now we've got a, a different game here. Mm. Tell me more. What game are we playing? We're gonna do a Brobnar turn. And we're going to reap. Okay. Ooh. Let's ready and fight with a friendly creature. Can we do this? Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Let's fight all Snack Lifter. Okay, so T's gonna go there. And then you get a purge of creature. Snack lifter, bump C protectrix. Let's do the the snack. It's gotta be snack lifter. Yeah. And then I'll get plus one. That either the dad gets cray. With a shadow self. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a creepy board too. <laughs> it is like. a creepy board. So now I, I've seen And then you got Bumpsy bumping around. I've seen I've seen this deck played. I don't want to go over six. Because I haven't had seen two Gateway to Heavens. I haven't seen the uh, Capture 7 or more Capture 5 guy. It's knowledge I didn't have going into the first game. Yeah, that's adaptive format. Yeah, that's really cool. But I also would like to get over, like, I'd like to get to 7 so that you're not... I can't just, like, steal 1 yeah. and stop you from getting there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to check. I'm not even not playing any cards. Mm-hmm. Board says yes. Interesting. Um, wow, you guys are talking a lot. This is great. <laughs> All right. Tokens are amazing. Love my set. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, awesome. Norius, I love my set. My wife's only complaint there's only three keys. Yeah, we might make some, some spare key sets once we can get production under control. That's a hilarious idea. Get some spare keys. Some spare keys, just in case you lock them in the house. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here's what I'm going to do. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to go Sanctum. We're going to play Doorstep to Heaven. You lose one. You did See? A, you did a smart thing. See? Then I'm going to pass. Oh, yeah? A little mm. tit for tat, as it were? Just have a little... I mean, I can do that forever. You could. I can do that forever, Zach. You think? You have another Doorstep? Maybe. 
I'll keep doing it. <laughs> no, I will. I'm so happy Bait and Switch is in your discard pile. That's so good to know. I can't. I remember when you played it, I thought, okay, good. It's in his discard pile. I can play without fear for a minute. Reap. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. This. I was like, Shaffles will put the heat on you. Can't stall anymore. Let's reap. Let's get another plus one, and let's chuck something out of your discard pile. Bombsy or Protectrix? I uh, Protectrix. He gone. I'm about to be creatureless in Seattle. Like, it's yeah. not going to be good. And give me an amber here. All right, back up to check. Is that it? I, why don't you play more creatures? <laughs> you, you don't move your back row. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to win when you never move your back row. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, uh, Tom Rich isn't tr clarifying here. No, we haven't done head-to-head -head against a, a subscriber, but there are plenty of subscribers that visit Tulsa, and we, we play in the store all the time. So I have... I think we've all played in real life against subscribers, which is awesome, especially when we go to events like Adepticon or Worlds yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, but we haven't done the weird, like, you play and someone else is playing, and you're doing it live from different locations kind of a thing. I'll write it. Okay. So I'm, I'm done playing your games. I'm I playing was, your games. Here, you put me in this position. Here, I have well, to, you know, tiptoe around. Here's what I've been trying to set up for, like, eight minutes. Oh, wait, you lose one. Kitties. Or the shuffles. Here's what I've been trying to set up forever, and you just weren't having it. See, that's called pro plays. I was, I was trying to bait you. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, I'm going to play Loot the Bodies. Okay. I'm going to key to this. Okay. I'm going to destroy your board and gain four. That's pretty good. That's what I was trying to do that whole time. It's like, just play like two or three creatures one turn. I'll kill them all and gain seven or eight, and we'll call it a day. Well, I'm, I can't put myself in that position. Uh, you know me better than then that. Then I'm going to play a troll. Conservative person. And then I will pass. And we will go back to town. You're telling me I got a key. And I'll say check. But yes. Key on. Key on. Okay, let's see what my hand consists of. Hmm. Hmm. This is awesome. You ready for this comment? You're not ready for this comment. This I'm is ready. so amazing. I'm so ready. Winkler on Facebook says, once again, watching while cooking Monday dinner. My wife is playing Keyforge with her game club at school on Thursdays. Honestly, if you guys didn't do all this content, they'd still be playing Monopoly. I've got students uh, at mine I'm going to teach next week. Amazing. Thank you so much That's for saying fantastic. that. fantastic. That really is amazing to hear. We really appreciate hearing that. All right, so I think I have an idea. Um, I'll go Brobs. Two people cooking dinner while they're watching. Two to each. Well, yeah, it's time. I mean, I need to be cooking dinner right now. Yeah, me too. But instead, here we are. The sacrifices. Two damage. All right, two to the troll there. Troll's gonna come and get you. All right, that thing's gonna be dead. How are you gonna do that? I see what you're gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna gauntlet it. Um, I'm gonna play a fire spitter. I'm gonna smith. Gain one and then gain two if I control more creatures, which I do. That's why I didn't. Excellent. That's Gauntlet of Command. Yeah. Yeah, probably Heeb. Yeah, absolutely. Heeb. Oh, Herbert. Herbert himself. <laughs> Herbert the Heebinator. Um, and that's it. You get your key, yo. Let's do it. You kind of start to see the future, don't you, in this game? Definitely do. <laughs> or is that just me? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Shadows. Oh, Joel, wife is cooking chili right now. Hey, tell me this. Is chili a soup or not? Question of the day. And if not, why not? That customer office is busted. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I should have uh, taken the customs office. It wasn't worth the short-term gain to make uh -huh. it look like I was still in the game. Um, well, what's a stew? What's a stew? What's the difference between a stew and a soup? I knew a stew once. <laughs> Are you done? No, Is that all you did? I'm thinking about my life. Okay, yeah, that's really bad for you if that's all you can do. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go against my better judgment. I'm gonna pay you one. I'm going to discard Oh, yes, one. please. Oh, look at that. That is garbage play. Get out of here. Take that to Had the to can. <clears throat> the can. 
I'll do a little uh, dis turn. Dis turn. It's gonna be really hard to stop that. Terror. You have no. I gain two. Winkler says chili is only a soup if you're doing it wrong. Well, what makes a soup? That's my problem. You eat it with a spoon. You know, it's got some liquid in it. It's warm. I'm gonna discard that gateway to Deus. It's not gonna matter. You don't want to play that right now. No. <laughs> and then I'd uh, let you. It's over to you. All right. How am I gonna stop you? Oh goodness! What a hand. This isn't good, Steven. This isn't good. All right. Yep. So, yep. It's not sorted. Stalker broth is a base. I think that's fair. But what's a stew then? Stew, soup, chili. Are they three distinct things? I think chili is a stew. But I don't know what a stew is. I like the definition soup equals sip, stew equals chew. I've been told you're supposed to chew your soups, though, for maximum nutritional advantage. I got a soup cookbook. It probably didn't make anything. Check, by the way. Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> Let's go... How many chains is this deck worth to you? Several. <laughs> I want to go Sanctum. Uh, I want to discard that. I want to play Take Hostages and gain one. Then I'm going to pass. All right, man. I am just out of control here. I think I have my answer when I show you still in your customs office. Yeah. Yeah, you're... Now you know. Now I can make that play better next time. Okay, and now... By the way, the bidding after the game two in the adaptive format is going to be hilarious. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get to really go for it here. I'm, pers I'm excited about it. Yeah, it'll be wild. <laughs> Tune in next week for Superforge. It's a comment. Okay, I... We should make... You know what? We should do a stream where we're making something. I had that blog a long time ago about making a uh, stew. You remember that? Was that on our website? Yeah, our very That's very amazing. Uh, Shadows. I also had the Bread Podcast. You knew the guy? Of course, forget. Um, steal one. <laughs> Teehee. Uh, subtle Mall. It's just subtle. It's subtle. Very, very subtle. And then I'll uh, draw three. The stack has too many artifacts. Um, <laughs> seriously, though. Hitting you where it hurts, bun. Oh, man. I know that deck like the back of my hand. All right, let's do this. I'm going to go Shadows. I'm going to deal one to your Urchin and gain one. Uh, Dodger's going to fight here. You have elusive, so nothing happens, but I steal one. Oh, that's pretty handy, huh? Uh, I'm going to play too much to protect for no reason besides to gain one. <laughs> there's, there's a reason. And then <laughs> I will go to the end of the round. Your turn. That's unbelievable. Grr jam. Oh, yeah, look at this play. Oh, I love this play. I'm going to go uh, Shadows. I know what you're going to do. Let's reap with Nexus. Yeah. You want to use my needle? Let's needle your dodger there. Jeez, I can't use it next round. Let's destroy a damaged creature to steal one with a finishing blow. Yoink. Mm, that looks good. That was, that was a fun play right there. That's the kind of play you really just feel. Oh, go ahead and hit me up here. Yeah, this one. Great. Get it out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll play a lights out for the amber. You can all return two enemy creatures to their hand. And then, uh, I'll take an amber with me, Asma. I don't like to do it, but I'll do it. Can't forage. Cool. Ready? <laughs> oh, that isn't ready. I'm going to go with Brabnar. There we go. <laughs> to discard a couple cards, and then I'll play Trimmer to stun all three of your creatures. That's just a real pain, by the way. That's all you're doing? I <laughs> shot it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> this card's cool, though. Oh, here it is. Here, here it is. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Uh, you ain't got any creatures. I don't. You're right. You can only beat me so bad. Let's go, Brobnar. Um, ugh. Deal two to everything that's undamaged. That's a bummer. It's a bummer, man. Not the greatest play I've ever made. Man, I need that. I just 
discard a couple rounds ago. Heal one for every damaged creature. Gain an amber for you. Yeah, those cleansing waves. If you're doing work right now. He has an armor, but yeah. no thanks. Okay, now how are we going to do this? Get rid of the stun. Okay. It's unbelievable how good Gushman's outfit is. It's so good. Um, anger. Ready and fight with a friendly creature. You can't. I can't. I will reap. This seems good. <laughs> you want to do it again? I got one for the anger and one for the reap there, didn't I? Mm hmm. It's pretty good. Let's call it a command. Let's ready and fight with a friendly oh, creature. Oh, man. You can't fight. <laughs> you can't fight, Zach. You, got, you have that card, though. See, I've got to be careful here. I'm having too much fun. Yeah, I'm about to nuke that. This That's is, cool. Yeah, this is out of control here. It doesn't matter. You just do it again. The next round. Yeah, I mean, I've got a million ways to get this done. I feel good about that. Okay, okay, okay. I'll discard that. And then checkmate. What I'm fascinated to see in a minute is, with the chain bidding mechanic in a second, will it actually even out these decks? So I'm going to postpone this defeat really quick. I feel like I was in a similar position. It's a doorstep to heaven. You lose all but five. Champion and a feel. Talent, whatever. Uh, and then we'll go next round, and I hope I draw another one. You do, you do have plenty in there. <laughs> this deck is hilarious. <laughs> Maybe not the best. It's not good at winning, but it's definitely good at not <laughs> losing. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do a little... Uh, ugh. All right, we just gotta, we'll just do Robnar again, right? Um, now you can fight me, though, so I be careful. I can fight, yeah. Champion. Champ bit. I need a way... Tell me more. <laughs> You're going to do it again, aren't you? Uh, I mean, this deck has an absurd number of ways to keep him off of Dis. Dis. Taking a dis turn. Dis turn. Let's hand a dis that. Destroy that. Wait. Oh, it's on, on flank, flank, technically. Ah. Can't do it. Can't do it. Um, we'll play a terror. If I don't play any creatures. Poltergeist, that seeker needle. You're doing one here, I assume. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, but it gains me an amber. Check. What do you got, six? And I'll discard this gateway to dis, and I will draw three. I'll clear this stun of the terror. And then I'll draw three. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to go with Brobnar. Uh, plus hey, two to enemies on the flank. I'll do stun. Robert these didn't have an out. You can't stop me from stun forging. These three. <laughs> I'm gonna play blood money. I know that deck like the back of my two, palm. <laughs> two, two of these here. Play a war chest. I'll pay you one. <laughs> Thank you. Customs office, and then I'll pass. All right. That's the game. All right. So we're gonna bid chains for now. The first we get time. to bid, right? So this is seemingly the better deck. I think that's fair to say. Slightly better. Or it's the one that's at least more obvious. That's a very Diplomatic way of saying that it's way better. That's how you can tell, though. If you, if you flip flop around and it's still roughly the same outcome, you're probably not doing it wrong. I at least forged two keys. I'll have you know. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> I lost a little less hard, you know. I lost the less hard. What up? Okay. So how do we bid? Do you start or do I start? Who starts? Chat start? Just chat bid? I don't know. Okay. The player who brought the deck, that's you, starts by bidding zero change, chains. Then the players take turns outbidding each other until a player declines to bid higher. Can I bid any number? You start at zero, then I bid a number. But after you bid, can I be like 200? You could, yes. And I would love that. No cards ever. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the little chart? Do we have the, the star map? Yeah, we got see the star how many, map. How many All we need to know is... Oh, every six is another card. Every six, every seven. So seven is a two card, and then fifteen is the. Ah, we did it on purpose. That's clever. Yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah. Well, we don't do anything without thinking about it, as you might expect. <laughs> Key forge unchained. Can't do twenty-three chains, so don't bid twenty-three. Oh, because of the number of tokens yeah. we have. Or I think you can. You'd just be slightly awkward for I a second. I think we'd figure it out somehow. Um, all right. So I bid zero. All right, I'm going to bid. I'm just going to start the bidding at a reasonable number. I think uh, 
<laughs> I'm gonna start at four. I'll take that deck with four chains. I would take this deck with four chains in my sleep. <laughs> hmm. I mean, obviously it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but you can just speed it up if you I'm think there's speed a reasonable it up, yeah. number. Well, I think the right numbers to bid are one under the next layer. Yeah, like six right now if you bid so six. I think six, um, but I'm tempted to just go 12. Are you? Well, then it's like. Are you willing to go 12? If you bid 13, you're going to be <laughs> down through after. Because the chains only apply when you draw back up. So, besides your opening hand, if you're at 13... It doesn't you, apply to your opening hand, does it? No, that's Technically, what I'm it's drawing cards. Well, I think it's when you drop at the end of turn. It specifically okay. speaks okay. to that. So, if you're at 13, you're at three cards, and then you're at four cards for six rounds. That's fine. <laughs> it's like the whole They're game. They're good cards, though. They're, They're good are cards. really good cards. <laughs> but if I'm at 11, that means I'm at... Minus two for five rounds. Hmm. That's harsh. But Seems I'm definitely, fair. I'm definitely unwilling to let you <laughs> to play get this. it for twelve. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. Lord, this is gonna be hilarious. To it's see, bit actually. on, man. Bit on. Uh, you bid what? Four? Yeah, I bid four. Let's just see how uh, what what you're willing to do. I'm gonna bid six. Six. I'll bid seven. Hundred percent. Immediately went there. All right. Uh, I'm gonna bid. <laughs> this is a mistake. <laughs> oh. Just do a side game. I'm gonna bid twelve. All right, you got it. All right, you here you it. go. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> this is actually pretty amazing. I, I love this a lot. Uh, I didn't. I didn't realize that Jonathan's gonna love that we're doing this. I didn't realize how much I love this until we actually applied yeah. it. I'm going to use these resources. Fly directly. Oh, yeah, we don't have any. We, we're out so of, that's a six. We don't even have enough prototypes. We might have some over here. No, we only have five prototypes. <laughs> five. There's my 12 chains. All right, 12 chains. And I'm is. back to Steph. Okay, so you'll be Why don't you just maul me? You'll be at four cards uh, for a little while, and then you'll be at five cards for a little while. If I ever get to six cards, something went wrong. Get ready. Steve Gates says 12 is a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of chains. <laughs> yeah, but we. it was so... <laughs> Crazy different. It was very much. I got one key on the first, my second game, and you only got two keys. But like, why you did you say you got one and I only got two? <laughs> two is more than one. No, I'm saying, it, and you only got two. Like, I only got you one. You only got I only one. one. I got two. You only got two. <laughs> but like the two, now looking at the deck, it's like that. That second chain was uh, uh, worthless. It was like you're down like 56 to 7 and you score a touchdown with two minutes left. Oh, the second key. Right. Yeah, so, I, I was saying, now understanding that deck, and it has so many ways to keep you off that last key, that like... Wait, chaining a draw includes setup? Hey, that's that great for me. That can't be true. <laughs> it does. So I look at... Well, I have two. It. Ryan, is, he's my, my resident rules expert, says that yes, that is true. I roll a five. Okay, you go first. That's good. So you get five cards? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> does that mean I lose a chain at that point? Does That's it, a good question. Does that count as my Because I, I always associated you draw, and then the card you're not drawing is getting rid of the chain. Right. Or the card you're not drawing. When you would draw a card. So technically, you would draw seven. Right? So in my mind, if I'm starting with the handicap like that, right. I feel like you get rid of chain. I have no idea, though. So I'm going to draw five, because I know I can't. I think you get rid of a chain. But then if you mulligan, technically you get rid of another chain, right? Because you be. would draw. That can't be. Can we, can we figure that out? Yeah. Um, not for mulligan. He loses a chain, but not for the mulligan. Okay. So you will lose a chain off the top. Impressive. <sighs> and you're going first? Mm -hmm. I'm going to mulligan. <laughs> Yikes. You lose a chain every time you would draw, but apparently not the mulligan for some reason. Yeah, you would draw, but maybe that's not a draw, that's a redraw. Uh -huh. <laughs> <clears throat> Everything's fine. Everything's uh, fine. I, I don't want to lose a card. I can't mulligan in this game. Why, why are we always going to be talking? You know, everyone's comparing it, talking about Magic the Gathering fan and all of this. It's just a game. It's fine. It's not. It's just. At this point, it's just another game, right? Magic it's together? just magic. I'm not impressed. It's no longer has its like stronghold on it. It's it's not the industry anymore. 
And anybody who thinks that it is is going to lose in the next five years if they own a store. You ready? Yeah. This is going to balance this out real quick. It's amazing. Sure. I, Are you playing that customs office? Uh, Don't. I would love to. <laughs> that would be ideal. Uh, I'm going to play my one card here, which is going to be a key to this. Okay, that's kind of you know weird. And I'll lose a chain. How many cards you got in your hand? Four. Feels good. Okay, so you didn't play any uh, anything relevant. Okay. Joseph says, 12 is definitely a lot. Prepare to get wrecked. I had a deck that went one in five in a matchup, and it won seven chain. It won at seven chains with my opponent forging no keys. All right, let's go shadows here and here, mm. and we'll just draw two. Play them out while I got them. All right. Let's go shadows. I'm going to play nexus. Um, it reaps. I can use one of your artifacts. <laughs> Cha -ching. Uh, then I will draw your other chain. Man, you're not playing into my plans at all. <clears throat> you need me to have Amber, sir. Yeah, I do. I really do. Not today. Not today, I say. Okay, um, let's do a Sanctum turn. Oh, there's a card hiding there. Let's do a Sanctum turn. Um, let's play a Taunter there. Let's play a Cleansing Wave for no reason. And let's here, uh, do a Hallowed Blaster there. Let's get some board going. Since I know you have less cards, I should, I should win on board. But you got the key, so I got to be careful. Four, five, six. Hmm. Discard those cards. What are you talking about, wizard? What are you talking about? All right, let's go. Did I, did I not discard something? No, I, have no idea. I think I'm fine. I'm going to go with. Um... This, play the terror to gain two. Perfect. Uh, then I will pass. Lose a chain, draw a card. <laughs> yes, excellent. Okay. Hmm. 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 This is a hard ability to. Oh, it's got skirmish. It's so good. It's so good. Whoa. Indeed. Okay. Um, this let, is hard to figure out. It's not hard at all. Let's start with shadows. Let's do a nerve blast. Steal one, do two. Let's do two uh, to Nexus. Seek and Needle Nexus. A lot of good cards over there. Two to Umbra. Steal one. Skirmish. Take nothing in return. Oh, wait, I steal one. Woo! Even better. Hot sauce bar. Um, Seeker needle. Uh, I'm 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 gonna hit the gas here. We're just gonna hit the gas. Um, oof, oof, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't hit the gas. No, no gas. All right, that's it. All right, mine. Yeah, let's go with this. Um. Math, math, math. I don't know. I feel like I wanted to be a lot further ahead at this point. Yeah, right? I'm starting to get unchained here. Yeah. In a yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's actually go with... Um, Yeah, let's go with this. Uh, I'm going to play Poltergeist. I'm going to no. use one of your Seeker Needles. On who? Uh, we'll do one to the Umbra. Yeah. And it goes away. And then I will discard here. And draw. All right. There's some light at the end of the tunnel. One more two two card down turn. I'm back up to almost the full hand, <laughs> almost. Hmm. You know, I I, I want to keep the board small. Do you? Yeah. 
All right, let's do shadows again. Let's do two there, steal one. Let's see if you can know that thing, gain one. And then, uh, oh, that's such a hard thing to decide. All right, let's check you. Uh, pawn sacrifice, not at all something I want to do. This is horrible. Gains me an amber, and then I have to deal three to two different creatures, so I'll have to deal two to my own guy. Yikes. Got a Hallow Blaster, it's fine. All right, mine? Yeah. Shadows, bait and switch. Ah. Two. Oh, that's three. right, you have that thing, did uh, We're going to go ahead and play Lights Out. I'll put the champion back in your hands. Uh, and then I'll pass. So that's my final yeah, down two you're cards. Yeah, going up to real, All right. real time. Man, if I pull this out at 12 chains, that'll be insanity. It looks okay. It don't look bad for you. Uh, let's go Brobnar. Um, lose one. Creature there. Discard a Tremor, and I'll play this War Chest. Yikes. All right, mine? Yeah. I'm about to be a drawing fool. Uh, let's go Shadows. I'm going to play Customs Office. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm... <laughs> oh, this is the end of my artifacts. Okay, I appreciate that. I got um, one in each house. It's fine. I'm going to go ahead and play a Miasma just to get it out of my hand. And then next round, now I'm going to get rid of a chain. We're drawing up to five. That's right. Hmm, feeling great. Feeling good, feeling great. Okay, so if I put out a bunch of stuff, you will pop that key. But you also might do that anyway. Don't I have a thing that... Do I have the snack lifter in here? You do have the snack lifter. Yeah, I do. Lifter. <laughs> snack lifter. What's crazy is I'm kind of getting wrapped around on whose deck is whose. Yeah. Especially because we have two of the same houses. Whoa. Because, yeah. Because I feel like I'm at a disadvantage, which means that I have the snack lifter because I associate that. With in, losing. With losing, yeah. Yeah. For anyone just joining, I see people hopping in on Facebook. We're playing the adaptive format. So we've played two games already. We each won one with the deck I'm using. And then I bid 12 chains to get to play this deck. Uh, and I'm now down to five. So let's take Brobnar. Crossing my fingers. Let's do a double, double reap and discard. Over to you, Kent. Excellent. Uh, let's go with Brobnar, shall we? Yes. Uh, let's do... Hey, oh, Herbert. Hey, Herbert. Baby, huge two to each of your creatures. Okay. Oh, wait, right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to play an Anger, so I gain one, and I can ready and fight. So I'll ready, and then I'll fight the five health cat. Bumps. Actually, you know what? I'll just go here. We'll go... Kill each other. I don't, I, don't, I don't want you to sleep or needle me out of that race. Uh, and then I'll pass. So we'll lose one more chain. And I'll draw back up to five. Seeing some light here. All right. I'll uh, go Sanctum. Let's do a cleansing wave. Heal one, gain one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Check. Do the old taunty. Do the old protectrix. That's when you reap, right? Oh, yep. Yeah. I'll hollow blaster him then. There it is. You will be healed. And uh, I think I have to try to make you pop that key right now. Would you pop it on three? I feel like you're close. If you don't, things get weird. I'm gonna stay there. All right, mine? Yeah. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna play, uh, we'll go ahead, we'll just use this. I'll sacrifice to get rid of all the creatures. Oh, you did it. They okay. gone. Good. Uh, I'm gonna play Shaffle, so at the end of my turn you'll lose one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play Eater of the Dead, you should be familiar. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'm going to discard a gateway to disc because I don't want three more chains. And Lost. I'll lose a chain, draw back up to five. 
Okay. Yeah, hmm. with the war chest out, it's really hard for me to let you keep hmm. a board. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest it. Now I need to find a way to build it back up. Loose board? Yeah. Hmm. And that shuffles is a big problem. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> the thing that deck lacks, in my opinion, mostly is like ways to gain amber. It just doesn't yeah. gain it. It's like you're doing stuff, and your opponent's doing stuff, but they happen to be gaining six amber while they're doing stuff, and you don't. And you don't, and that is a problem. All right, well, we got to go Shadows here. Um, Silvertooth comes in ready. We'll hit Shaffles for two. Okay. Uh, play a Seeker Needle. Oh, you got the customs. Yeah. Discard a Seeker Needle. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And Seeker Needle, Eater of the Dead. That's such a, a wild change. Yeah. This is actually probably the, the most dominating card in the matchup, particularly. I think that... Because three Seeker Needles is probably how you gain Amber. I think that key... If you have the board wipes, you can play with low chains, or a lot of chains. That's what this deck has. Because, like, the advantage... Key to this, it has two gateways to this, too. You can't really build the momentum that normally you could by having card advantage. Yeah. Because, like, right now, I mean, this is not going to go well. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'm going to go Shadows. Um, I'm going to play an Urchin to steal one. And then I'm going to play uh, an Umbra, who has Fight, Steal 1, and Skirmish. And then I'll pass and say check. Lose one more chain. Check. Down the to mic. two. Check the mic. All right. Hmm. Hmm. What's cr kind of crazy is that we played nine turns. Let's go Sanctum, um, Doorstep. All but one, or all but yeah. five? All but five. Um, Protectrix, Gatekeeper is not going to matter. And that will be it. You're not at six. I'm not at six, if you can believe it. <laughs> I sure can't. I, I can. Uh, let's go with Shadows. Yeah. Um, let's go Shadow Self over here. Um, Umbra will attack the Protectrix. It has Skirmish, so I'll fight, steal one. Yeah. And we'll do Take two, two to Protectrix. Boy, Umbra's good. I respect Skirmish so much more now. Um, let's go with Urchin. We'll fight Protectrix, and the Shadow Self will take it. Mm. Not going to reap, huh? Well, oh, that's, yeah, Urchin can't, mm -hmm. can't contain it. Uh, then I'll play Relentless Whispers. So I gain one, mm. deal two to a creature, so there are two there. Uh, if it, dam it destroys the creature, I steal one. And then I will pass. I don't know if that was worth it, but lose a chain. Down to one chain. Seemed worth it. <laughs> Seemed worth from it. Where I, from where I'm sitting. Um... And that's any damage? And check. Yeah. Even the old Seeker Needle. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Shake's head. Bad. <laughs> no. Bad. Bad. Uh, <laughs> Get all those creatures. All right. Too much to protect. So you steal everything but six? Yeah. So you take two? Yeah. That's Sh good. Check yourself. It's Dodger. Seeker Needle. Um, here. On the umbra. I eventually get there. And that's it. Mm. I dare not play that card against you. I'm going to go Shadows. Uh, we'll play a Subtle Mall. I'll play a Miasma. Okay. Cute. Your favorite. Did you forge? You should have forged. Oh, yeah, right? I should have forged. The old key forge. Important part of the game. Um, I'll reap. 
Uh, let's, I guess I didn't need to miasma necessarily, but it's fine. Uh, let's reap. We'll fight. We'll do two damage to Dodger and steal one. Hey, Amber. And then I'll pass. Losing my final chain, still mm. only drawing five. And uh, it'll be you. You have some cool lines here. Does Shadow Self deal damage back to me? Mm -mm. Not at all? No. If he did, he would be... Pretty good. Real good. Pretty good. Perhaps too good. Now, do you have the... Do you play the bait and switch already, right? Mm-hmm. I think that's the only, like, board leveler you've got, right? Like, take the money? <laughs> take yeah. the money. Take some money, Zobowski. Take some money. Yeah. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do uh, Shadows. All right. Um, I like hmm. what you're doing so far. Hmm. Let's dodger there to shout us off. Okay. So you kill it, and it's got fight, steal one. Steal one. one. There it is. You're about to have a nice little turn here. I don't know what's in your hand, but... Let's see, can you all... I think it's Umbra. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yo. That's correct. And you get one for that? Yeah. You've got a silver tooth. Love that card. It feels powerful, right? Things that come into play feel powerful. I, I think it's good. And that urchin doesn't matter. Let's face it. It's just it's a nice reaper too, for so. you. Yeah, I can't do anything to it, so let's reap. Over to you. Oh, man. That would be so funny. Hmm. Yeah, 12 chains, not, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, how is that possible? Unchained. Um, let's go with... Hmm. How, how is this? Hmm. I'm go with this. I'm going to reap. You got that hand. You gonna clear the board? Gain some chains. You're such a chain, chain city. Such a chain uh, man. And I gotta purge something. Can I see your discard? <laughs> oh my gosh. What do I want to get rid of? Where's this? Where's the stealer? Thief. Let's get rid of the champ. Purge. We'll go power counter, but oh. it won't matter. <laughs> Old purge bro work was purged for a couple of games there. <laughs> Oh, because I purged him, so I didn't have him. <laughs> Bummer. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to play Gateway to Disc, gain three chains, but destroy all the creatures. Mm. Hopefully you have problems refilling that board again. Uh, and then I'm going to discard Soul Snatcher, because uh, that is not the match to play it. End of my turn. Back to Chain City. We'll only draw five. And you're up. Forging. Nice. All right. We'll see if it's enough. I tell you, man, once Customs Off hits the board in this game, it's just different. It's wild. It's wild.com. <laughs> All right, let's do a War Drummer, a Troll. Uh, I'm going to discard, loot the bodies, and Obelisk. Because, no. You're not going to pay me for it? I don't know that you're going to. It's worth holding loot the bodies, but I'm not doing it. All right, let's go so with... I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Um, Robnar. I'll play yeah. a Gauntlet of Command. Play a Fire Spitter before fight. Deal one to each creature. Um, and then I'll discard a War Song. And we'll discard and draw. Okay, that was cool. <laughs> cool. I said cool. All right. Okay, here we go. John Paul Askin, is one deck too powerful or is the other just terrible? Um, <laughs> so we're playing the adaptive format. We each played with both decks once, and the deck I'm playing won both. So I bid 12 chains where, in game three to play this deck. Uh, it seems like this deck, I don't know that it's necessarily, it might just be more powerful, but Customs Office is particularly potent in this matchup. 
and the kind of stack of cards in the decks, this one is very good against that one. Um, lots of ways to clear the board. It doesn't have a ton of creatures. Get ready. Blood money. All right, two, two over here, yeah. <clears throat> War song. Gain one when something fights. Troll up. If you do the War Drummer first, you gain a free one. Yeah, but I can just reap with him and That's not right. die. Seems uh, like a better play. Yeah, you know. So you kill me. Yeah, I do five to you. Play went through my head. You get as these well. two. Uh, you you also do, get, yeah, you do. You five. get one for fighting. Four, five. <laughs> Is there one for? over there? Oh, give me a damage. Oh, I, need a I, was, I thought you were looking for amber. So you get one amber for fighting still. Okay, so there's one amber for fighting. I gave the two off of me. You gave me the two already. Yep. And then we're gonna war chest gain one for each enemy that was destroyed during a fight. And then we're going to reap. Check. All right. Maybe there's a game. I think there's a game. Mm. The Brobs are here. Oh, man. Let's go... I'm going to forge a key. I can tell from the way that you're, you're sighing. Let's go Brabnar. I'm going to play loot the bodies. I'm going to punch. We'll do three damage there. It gains me one, and I'll gain one from loot the bodies. This war drummer is so punchable. He is very punchable. That tells me you can kill the troll in another fashion. And then I will <laughs> pass. So lose yeah. my last chain, draw two. Troll says, yeah. OK. Let's see. I get a key. Mm-hmm. Four, five, six. Oh, check, by the way. Yeah, get ready. Are you still, did you just unchain yourself? So you at five cards or six? Uh, five cards. Okay. And your jump, refresh the site a uh, thousand times uh, any particular reason. <laughs> Might be able to help you out with that last five days. I assume it has to do with the tokens being in stock. Uh, and if you missed it earlier, they're going to be back on the site tomorrow. Um, and if you're on the wait list, you'll get a notice about that. But we're also going to be doing essentially pre orders, and we're going to ship them in the order that they are ordered. So if in you want those, they're ordered. I would get in line quickly. Um, we, have, we have some coming literally in the next day or two here that we're going to ship out. And then we're going to ship the rest of the pre-orders over time as fast as we can possibly make them. The response to this has been incredible, so we decided to do a pre-order system instead of just the typical put them in stock and sell them. Sanctum, doorstep to heaven. Go down to five. I think you were going to get this one, Take man. hostages. Doesn't do anything, but I will gain an amber from it. Play a vault keeper. You can't steal my stuff. Heal three off the troll. It's just an exciting turn over here in Steffville or whatever this is. Ferrara, Ferrari. Shield Master of Kings. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this bulwark back in. That seems good. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to work. This is going to get frisky. Um, I'm going to go with Brabnar. It says, can I be stolen? Great. Bumpsy, you lose one. What's up now? Isn't that technically the common pool stealing an ember? I don't think so. I don't think it's the same <laughs> word. Uh, <laughs> then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in. <laughs> Ready? It works the way that I think. I'm gonna works. fight against the vault keeper and kill him. Ah! And did you lose one from the bumpsy? You only take four, right? You're not dead. Oh, right? I'm not dead at all. But yeah, I want to be one. dead, because that stupid seeker needle. Three, um, four, we'll discard here, six. and then I'll draw back up. You're not even in key territory. Not even close. Why am I wasting my time with this? Good question. Okay. Ugh, this is bad, my friend. It sounds good for me. I think you may have turned. I thought I turned the corner. You Maybe. did. You very much did. It doesn't feel like it. Huh. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to have to do it like that, I think. Ooh, I don't know. I 
Okay, I'll take a Brobnar turn. All right. Hit Let's me with the truth. Valder, Gauntlet of Command. Let's do eight and take five. Four. Actually, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I could also reap and not do it that way. Okay, so there's that. Uh, and then we'll war chest for one. And then we'll stand and deliver. <laughs> hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Interesting. This okay. Not, this is not great. Fascinating. I'm going to go with um, this. We're gonna play a master of three and oh, the gauntlet of command. Terror. Customs office. Oh, uh, uh, yep. man. You not worth it. You would have yep. forged the key. No way. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, zero percent worth it. Play control of the week. Uh, I'm gonna say Sanctum. Okay. Um, and it'll be your turn. Okay. I'm John like normal again. Check, by the way. Thank you. Doors up to heaven. Get on to five. It's all in blaster. Three off the control. <laughs> you chose it. I know. Gatekeeper goes out. And we're back to six. Andrew Jump wants to know what's the best dish you had on Thanksgiving. The best what? Dish. I made two dressings. I made a chicken mushroom dressing like salad and dressing? a traditional dressing, like a stuffing dressing. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah. I bought a bunch of, bought the bread, I dried it out for a few days. Um, I made my own chicken broth, I did the whole thing. And it was delicious, all fresh herbs, oh my gosh. Hmm. There's a reason you cook like old, old style cooking. Like old people do? Yeah, because it's incredibly good. That was, that was clear, clearly good. And then, I told you about this earlier, took all the Thanksgiving leftovers, put it in a leftover uh, pie crust slash puff pastry, wrapped it up, baked it, and it was delicious. Wait, the stuffing was in the pie crust? Stuffing, turkey, oh, that's cranberries. Amazing. So you had like a pot pie. It was it was a Thanksgiving leftover pot pie. That yeah. is amazing. Yeah. That's perhaps one of the best do you have? Do you have uh, leftovers? Not anymore. Uh, it's Monday. You should have pied them. I, I, I'm going to do that on Christmas. Um... Am I gonna win this? Maybe. Pre-orders will start tomorrow, yeah. We haven't put anything up yet. I say they will start tomorrow. That's depending on a few things, but they will likely start tomorrow. I think they'll start. Join the waitlist for the primary set. That's the that's the best way to, to know. Mm. There's a lot of almost and what have you's here. Alright, I gotta I gotta get over this hill. Let's do this. I'm gonna go Brabnar. Old Herbert the Huge, two to all uh, other undamaged creatures, including my own. That's so annoying. I don't have enough tokens for that. Yeah, we only have the little prototype batches. Because they're gone. They gone. They gone. <laughs> 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 I don't know why that's so satisfying. <clears throat> um, all right, Troll's Huge. This is when I need loot the bodies, dude. Um, let's go Gauntlet Command. So we're already Herbert and fight. Uh, we're going to fight the Gatekeeper. So I'll take five, and you'll die. Then, for, my, for my next trick, Ready for a I'm going to play one. Smith. So mm. I gain one. I have more creatures than you, so I gain mm -hmm. two. Um, I'm hoping I don't get... Bamboozled? You man. know my deck has a bajillion ways to do that. Um, it does, but Bamboozling I, I, I got to do something. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Relentless Assault. I ready and fight with up to three different creatures one at a time. Awesome. So I'll ready. I'm not going to ready him yet. We'll get there. Uh, let's ready. What do I want to keep on the board here? Not Nothing. Herbert. He'll ready. Uh, and we'll smoke the, the troll. Troll? Yep. So he's gone. You <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll ready the terror uh, and fight there. So we'll kill each other. And then there's nothing left to fight. So he'll ready and do nothing. Uh, then I will say check, I will pass, and I will pray to the Lord above that You've I... You've gone command it already, right? Yeah. Okay. That I bait and switch here. Okay. Let's miasma first. Come on! <laughs> Come on, man! 
that deck does have once it gets ahead, it's hard to hard to get on top of it. I'm gonna steal that mall and I'm gonna use it. But I just started drawing normal again. <laughs> I know. Let's keep that card advantage going. That's a good one. Ah, finishing blow, nice. That would have been great. Uh, let's play a Dodger. Let's do a Nerve Blast. Steal one, do two. Got him. Check. I'm going to do one to that Snake Lifter. Set it up for next turn in case I need it. That's pretty clever, actually. <laughs> Just in case. And then I'll draw up. All right. Mine. Check, check, check. I smell it. All right, let's you do this. You feel that? You feel the power? I'm going to go Relentless Whispers. So I gain one. I'll do two damage to Snake Lifter. When I do, I steal one. Bummer. Bummer, man. <laughs> uh, I'll play an Umbra. Has Fight, Skirmish, Steal one. That whole thing. Uh, then I will pass. Check. Oh, my, my. Oh, my, my. Doom, doom, doom. This deck is radical. <laughs> radical. <laughs> okay. That gift. Um, Steve Cates says his favorite dish was wine. Yeah. Hard to argue with the results. Appropriate. <laughs> mm. Man. I just need some time, Willie. Just time. <laughs> time. Um. Stealing my subtle mall, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to get to the goalpost right now. I need to keep putting pressure on. You gotta, I've got to keep forcing you to steal it. Yeah, you can't let me back in this thing. All right. Uh, <laughs> shadows. Yeah. Seek your needle. Can't you gonna pay me for it. that? I'm not paying you for it. It's <laughs> getting discarded so yeah. fast. <laughs> it's so funny. How that customs office is real. That's good theme right there. It's like yeah, no, it's not, not paying the troll toll, man. That's Get it real. out of here. All right, that might change things. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. All right, let's uh Sun them all. <laughs> Doing shadows. Here we go. Bring it on. Punch. Okay, I'm glad to take that one. <laughs> you have some. Had the good cards in there. No, there's a card that's very important to my plan here, dude. Dodger. Steal one. I'll hit you for two. I'll take it. Yeah, you had to get Amber off the board, because if not, I can mm -hmm. doop, 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 snipe doop, doop. you. Um, discard a Seeker Needle. Not going to use a Seeker Needle. And check. Yo. All right. <laughs> it's four to key. It's not ideal, let me tell you. <laughs> a little less cushy than you want it to be? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. I don't think this ends well for me. Godspeed. But maybe. Let's play a bait and switch. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. Yeah, except that's all I get to do. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you got a you got a moment there. Um, see, I can't. I can't. I need to win this game. <laughs> I really want to win. This game has got to be over soon. <laughs> it's just getting worse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, every every second you leave me on the board, <laughs> it's just a problem. <laughs> it's like, uh. okay, this is fine. I think we can get through this. All right, we're gonna go sanctum. We're gonna go bulwark here. <laughs> uh, protectrix there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cleansing wave. Actually, hold on. Uh, this doesn't happen yet. Cleansing wave to gain an amber. Then protectrix fully heal. That's when he reap, dude. Oh, yeah, still. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. He'd be way better. Yeah. Uh, Hello Blaster, though, will do it. Every time. Every time. It's there for me. Uh, okay, there's... There's that. That's all I can do. And then we've got one, two... Are you really on your... You're almost on your third key? That's outrageous. <laughs> this is outrageous. Wait, are you serious right now? Yeah, I am serious, my friend. <laughs> I'm so serious. 
<clears throat> well, this is just a humdinger of a game, and I think 12 is the right number. <laughs> it's crazy. Legit. <laughs> uh, let me think about this. I can't, I'm not going to do that yet. Um, doesn't advance anything. I need that. I think my heart's beating a little faster than yeah, normal. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> we found ourselves in a genuine tournament setting. Ah, <sighs> smokies. If you don't give me self-validation through this win, Zach, I'm going to, I'm not going to have it. <laughs> I'm going to quit. <laughs> <laughs> I lose to a guy. Started the game with 12 chains. I'm never playing this game again. Just flip it. Yeah. I mean, at that, that point, video you flip of a guy it. that just is, they're playing Catan and he just punches the table <laughs> and then flips it. Hmm. Satisfying. People get people get into get into some situations. All right, let's go with this. Let's go with this. I'm gonna get rid of this whole snatcher. <laughs> I'm going to play Poltergeist. I can use one of your... Quit doing that. Uh, Is that the second one you play this game? Yeah, it's back through my deck. Because yeah. this game's lasted 82 turns. Um, I'm going to... Who knew that taking Mill out of a game would be good? Me. I knew it, <laughs> Me. Zach. I'm going to use Settle Mall and get rid of it. Ah, man, that's a real... That's a... There's a lot of things I could say about that You should play. have thieved me. There are two things that you could pull that would be bad. That's one in three. Better, better than I would have put my odds out at the start of the game. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> uh, then I'll play a key to this. It was all for nothing. Oh, that's pretty good. And it's your turn. Okay. You're not on check. Nope. But you um, also ha I have nothing to fight and steal, so I will have to reap. Well, isn't that interesting? Hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And you can nuke the board. I can at any time. Okay. God forbid I have loot the bodies in my hand. Are you done with your tricks? I mean, are you done with bait and switch? Or anything else in your deck There's that matters? There's no more bait and switches. Miasma? You still have a Miasma? It's two in the deck. Ah, what? Why are we running these decks? It's just the one they voted on. You're not playing stuff. I, I had it? never even really played it. I think I played it once last week. Cool. Yeah, it's good stuff. Do you have one of those in your hand, though? Miasma? Mm-hmm. I mean, let me count. <laughs> I'm about good half, chance. halfway yeah, through my deck chance, here. But uh, playing Shadows here would be actually just fine. I can't attack my own stuff? No. Okay. That'd be cool. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, did you take a card from me? You did. I'm going to do <laughs> um, Shadows. Play that there. Yeah. Maxwell Silvertooth. Reap it up. Mm-hmm. The trick is you have a million and ten ways to keep I have it. a few ways, some would say. Um, I'm going to Seeker Needle here in case. Oh, we're on Silver Teeth? I guess it's got to be, doesn't it? In case I get a Cleansing Wave. Well, yeah, or you can Seeker Needle next turn to get one off Silver Teeth after you reap. That's correct. Yeah. That's you the get real play. One off. Yeah, that's the real play there. All right. Can you get me off a of seven? Just tell me. <laughs> All right, That's go for amazing. it. All go right. for it. Uh, let's Bring it do, on. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to play. Check, check, A thousand ways from check. Don't wipe that board. You could, you know, it's an Omni ability, it too. Omni. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm going to play Miasma. Oh, cool. And then I'm going to clear the board. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you get chains for that or anything? Mm-mm. What, what, who made this game? Uh, it's rare. It's like one billion decks. <laughs> You can just do that. Yeah, that works that way. Back to uh, my trap card. Then I will pass, draw a card, and say check. 
And I'm miasmid. You're miasmid. Yeah, no foraging for you. Question is, can you get me off a check? Oh, I surely can do that. And I can do it in the proper way. I'm going to do Brobnar. Bombsy. Mm, I'll lose one. War Drummer. Lose another. Bombsy. Um, get rid of Tremor and War Song. <laughs> Did I do it yet? <laughs> did we did we arrive yet? <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, Brabner. Okay, I'm gonna play Fire Spitter. Um, yeah, I've got you. I've got you beat. Brabner can't do anything about this. <laughs> He's got little command. <laughs> he can't do anything. He's gonna, <laughs> I've done it. He's gonna fight. I've done it. Twelve Bumps is the right number. for five and one over to the war drummer, and I'll die. Wait, and you send I'll one to the oh, this. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and then I'll pass. All Good right. game. Good. That was awesome. Good stuff. You know, the interesting thing about this deck is once it does get up, I was still sitting on doorstep so I could hold you off there. I had too much to protect. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It's got to find a way to get ahead because it's really good at not getting behind. But <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> the thing <laughs> it's really good at not losing. That's what, like, I felt like when I was playing it without chains a minute ago, it was like, I could keep you off a of chain for a while. But in the meantime, I just wasn't doing anything. And there are a couple combos. That deck might get better with a couple more plays. Because, like, even the war chest is, like, a loot the bodies on a stick. And, again, I think Customs Office is a particularly bad card against that deck. Yes. Because you gain Amber with war chest, three Seeker Needles. That's right? true. So this could be just a bad matchup. I, there's not enough Amber in that you need to pay them one with Customs Office. Right. No. So it's yeah. like you don't play the artifacts, you lose. You play the artifacts, you lose faster. Yeah, so like, yeah I can't do that. Uh, can't do that. Caught between rock and hard So a couple of things before we go that I want to mention. That was great. That was awesome. No, in fact, like, okay, so here's the thing. I, I have never played the chain thing before. First of all, bidding change was hilarious. It's really awesome. Um, because the way that normally goes right would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and we do that until somebody got nervous. <laughs> um, Always nervous. But the other thing about it was it didn't f I, I was thinking that if you were chained up, it would feel like not a true victory. But that wasn't the case at all. It, it just made it feel like a really close game. It was just more fun, I which think, is pretty cool. I think if you're unfairly chained, it would feel that way. Right. And I thought 12 was ridiculous. I thought that was going to be I thought it was pretty it. ridiculous, but like <laughs> it turned out it really wasn't that it ridiculous. It wasn't. So don't um, be scared. Chain on. So I think the adaptive format's really cool. That we, was great. We play I would, best of three. I would do that until the end of time. That's right. You play best of three, and the third game is always, at least according to the two players, appropriately chained. That's why I think it's one of the most balanced formats of a game ever. Let me tell you this as well. So, like you know, there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, you know con uh, light. I would say light concern about an opponent making your deck weird during a tournament or otherwise doing weird stuff. Um, but we also need to just kind of get out of the mindset. I think of tournament play as like the de facto. Yeah. Because like what you and I just did is just as relevant to me as any tournament I could ever go to, right? Like I'm Absolutely. not looking to be the world champion of Keyforge. I, I bet you the vast majority, there's 170,000 decks registered. The vast majority of decks being played is this. Yeah. Right? It's and people so, at the kitchen table with their friend or their wife or their husband or their kid. Right. Um, so and, formats for this are what we should be focusing on, not formats for the, the occasional tournament. And, you know, if you're going to a tournament and you don't want random people touching your stuff, then just don't bring the decks that you care about yeah. nearly as much. But I will say that format was awesome, and I feel like I could open two decks every week. Yeah. We play two games, we learn both decks a little bit, go into the third game, we get to balance it out with some chains, and then move on or pick your favorite decks That's or whatever. It's so good. Um, it's great. I thought, I thought it was really great, and obviously you can see from the game, you, I think if you watch it back, we're both smiling toward it. Like, it gets more and more intense, right? The first couple of games is like kind of fun because you're just wrecking the other person. Yeah. <laughs> but that's only fun for a little bit. One game. Really, one yeah, game. Yeah, we each got one, like, okay, we, we killed you and then we played a game. Um, Real quick, Zach, uh, there are some people asking about your deck box before you put it away. These oh. are available, like, for the next three hours and then they're, they're done uh, for a while. They're yeah, only this, available during the Cyber Monday, Black Friday sale. So, this was a, a, hold on, I'll send you guys a link. I mean, we'd love for you to buy one. They're $15 right now. Which is a pretty good It's deal. a limited yeah. edition. So There's some leftovers from Masters tournaments. Fully sleeved, I can fit five decks in here. But obviously the slot here, um, I would probably use for my tokens, actually. 
once I actually get to order them, which right, will be forever here. from now. We've got a few things still on uh, on sale. Um, yes, it is. It is from Dex. We hung out with them at uh, Gamma. Actually, that's when we connected with Dex Production. Right. Yeah, Man, we we're like, "Yo, your stuff's pretty ago. good," and then they were like, "Yo." Um, so Give on, on that note too, if you're wondering about the Archon tokens, they will be back on the store tomorrow. If you're not on the wait list, I recommend doing that. Uh, it's first come, first serve. We're going to be opening them for pre-order. We do have a certain amount of those that are going to be shipping out very, like this week. Um, so first people online are going to get them. We're going to make those as fast as we can. Um, so if you want to guarantee you get those as soon as possible, you'll want to hop on the wait list. And then once you see them, you'll want to buy them so that you get in line, essentially. Um, and then, of course, we're, we're actually... Pretty soon, I think we're going to be out of decks. Yeah, the world, I think, is going to be out of decks for some amount of Distribution's time. Distribution's gone. Um, yeah. Random retail stores across the nation may have some. Uh, but then we are we can't order more right now. Um, I hope that they reprint quickly. And then once the decks we have are gone, we're out of it's here. It's a fascinating yeah. thing. I, and I, I feel lucky. I got my, like, I think 15, 20 decks here. And I feel set. I really, I, I feel okay about what I've this got. Is, this game is fresh. It's fresh. I think it's got it, actually. I, th- I I wasn't sure if it would be a one month and we're done kind of thing. It's the long tail that I was most concerned about. It feels like it's the strongest point, the strongest uh, thing with a game, though. Well, and I think if they if handled correctly, because like what I'm picturing, what I didn't know until I got to the number of decks I have now, and I, I traded decks with house combinations I wasn't as interested in, but I essentially have a good 10 decks that... I probably want to play at least 10 times because mm-hmm. they're interesting enough for me that I want to explore them that it's way. It's just lines, right? Puzzles, lines you're looking at. And so, like, that... And that's just my decks. It's not even how do they approach other people's decks. Mm-hmm. So that's that's 50 games. 30, 45 minutes each. I mean, we're talking 25 to 30 hours of gameplay. I might get four or five a week if I'm, like, aggressive about it. Mm-hmm. So I've got 10 to 12 weeks before I've even, like... You even thought about it. Exhausted these yeah. into 10 games. That's not even talking like exhausted than 20 games left. So then the reality is like it's pretty inexpensive to just go get five more decks, assuming they're Well, you can. Yeah. Can you do something for me? Can you take that decks box and shake it upside down? Like that. Well, These are my five favorite decks. I'm just rocking around Well, let's see if we can get the flap to trigger. People are saying the dude reviewed them that, that... I mean, that's fine, right? When, when are you doing more than that to a deck box? I mean, <laughs> so I'm grabbing it. I'm not doing the Macarena with my yeah, deck. Here's, this is the flap. Right, <laughs> it opens. But I'm grabbing it by the knot, and I'm like. <laughs> that seems fine, right? Like, you should be able to pop that open if it's going to Unless fail. you have, like, a brick inside of there. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, I, the thing is. great is if I open it up, and the cards <laughs> are just <laughs> crumpled up. They're on fire yeah. somehow. No, it's uh, at least these. I don't know. The I know there's the the deck box I have for Destiny, um, in the shape that like FFG did for World. This one. one? Year. Mm-hmm. Hold on. That one seems like there's a little more weight inside, so I could see that one, that particular deck maybe. I don't know. What are you guys doing with your deck boxes? Right. <laughs> <laughs> why do you, Why do you need them? I are you gonna know. go play in a tornado? I I've been using this since the first Masters. <laughs> um, when was that? June. So, oh, man, it feels so almost like... six months now, um, and it's held up. I, I was actually most concerned. It's white, um, and I felt like it was going to get dirty. But yeah. I've had this in my bag and stuff. Like if you look at this, it's pretty. It actually still looks fine. It looks, looks just fine. Looks pretty good. Yeah. They did a great job. Uh, anyway, so if you want the deck then on the store, they're going to be gone soon. Uh, if you want decks of Keyforge, those are also going to be gone soon. And then of course the tokens are going to be back tomorrow. And finally, of course, uh, if you want to guarantee the next set, we haven't even been talking about subscriptions. Yeah, the, the, this is a great time. So this is what happens, right? Like these sets come in and then they disappear. And I, I don't know if that's going to keep happening. It's crazy to me that 170,000 some odd decks have been registered. And that's like, I'm so locked into the, the industry and I haven't even registered my decks. You've got like seven to 10 decks I didn't, not registered. I couldn't even be bothered to make an account. So like... I bet there's 300,000 decks out there. And so you imagine if all of that was pushed through and then hype continues to build and then second set releases, it could be a real issue. So if you want to guarantee that you get a box or two of the next set, you can sign up for a Keyforge subscription. This is the beauty of the subscriptions, honestly. Um, I feel fine pitching it to all of you who have been watching for two hours. Now you get the full spiel. (laughs) Uh, But it's great. I mean, it's crazy. You sign up. It costs you nothing. It's totally free to cancel. You can cancel two months from now and having never been charged anything or you can stick around and just guarantee your spot in line to make sure that you're going to get 
any amount of set two that you want. Uh, and then, you know, we have like a limited amount of slots for subscriptions. So once that fills up, we close them off and we can't take any more subscribers. Yeah, so you may as well get in line if you're at least somewhat interested in and getting set to you. If you're unfamiliar, uh, those if you're in the US, typically arrive on release or like the day after release at the latest. Um, and that's part of why we can only take so many because we can only physically handle so many boxes going in and out the door uh, to get them there by release. So you're going to link to that. I'll give you a link. And uh, it really, seriously, it, it is, you guys know how money works. Um, <laughs> it's how we are able to afford the equipment and the time to do these streams. Um, it's almost directly tied to like token purchases and uh, subscribers. So it's right. a good way to keep that going. Too. Mostly tied, yeah. Uh, Jux Giant, relevant question. What exactly is set to? It's going to be another set of Keyforge. We don't know if it's going to be the same houses. It could be entirely different houses. It could be entirely different vibe. We don't know anything about it, but we presume it will be 36 cards, unique decks, the I same think idea. The thing we have, uh, the thing we know is that there will be other sets, and that those sets will include houses. They yes. may not be these houses. And outside that, we expect 36 card decks and everything, like you said. But um, when that happens, that's the that's the thing about subscription as well. When that happens, what it looks like. Um, who kn- it doesn't we don't know so and we've had times in the past especially with FFG where it's like surprise new set yeah. two weeks later <laughs> yeah. and then it's like you're scrambling to figure out where to, to buy from and, and get and all that kind of stuff so uh, if you still don't have to worry about it that's really what that's for and then finally uh, Michael Dolan are we getting a podcast this week we are this week is actually a pretty fascinating podcast we're going to be we're kind of returning to the theme based podcasts Early that's on the podcast history, been pushing. we had like topics every week that mm-hmm. we dove into for 30, 45 minutes. Which we'll There's only do. so many big topic podcasts you can do every week before you're just like, uh, Taylor Swift. Um, but we got there. We're going to do a big topic, and it's going to be building community uh, in games and particularly locally. Kind of what we've learned, um, maybe some advice, some things that we still haven't solved. And we're, we're answering we're still a ton of questions from the community about it. I think it. we have 12 on the list right now. That's yeah. a lot of questions. I don't even know if we'll get through it. We'll try. But we'll try. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you so much. And uh, we'll catch you at least next Monday, if not before. Catch us on the podcast.